So why not come be creative with us here at Hochanda? Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp Limited. We're well known in the industry for designing and manufacturing top quality award-winning craft products. As with all craft projects, you need a good starting place, a great stamp, a top quality stencil. And in recent times, we've developed the Groovy Parchment Art System so that your line art is perfect on parchment. Another exciting development to come from the marriage between Parchment and our stamp company is the fabulous designer papers and now the designer parchment. There is nothing like it. Each groovy plate is precision etched and by simply getting in the groove with a stylus you can easily transfer great designs onto parchment. Groovy is a modular system. The plates complement each other and work beautifully together. They are packed with elements and allow you to build your own original artwork. Whether you're a novice or a traditional parcher, you will love these plates. And for me personally, having beautiful line art is what motivated me to want to learn traditional parchment skills. So why not get in the groove with us here on the channel? Good morning. How are you? Are you well? I hope you are. I've got the beautiful, fantastically talented Leslie Walton with us. Leslie, hello. Hello, Janice. Welcome to this. I've never worked with you before. It's so fabulous. Really looking forward to the show. Really looking forward Thank to the you. show. And it's a special show as well because we've got some great products that we're going to talk about and show you and you can buy. But we've also got a great demonstration coming up with Leslie because we're letting you loose. Yes, this is the second time they've done it. They didn't learn the first time. <laughs> It is your ink school and we're going to be learning some new techniques and some very interesting techniques as well, aren't we? Yeah, we are. The idea is with this, uh, and I want to say thank you, Hachanda, for allowing me to do this. Uh, we also have a lot of people out there who are confused with the inks. Yeah. What do I stamp with this? What do I do with that? And basically, they use possibly the wrong ink pad with the wrong surface, get the wrong result, and it puts them off. Yeah, it can do. Through no fault of your own. It's a minefield out there. Yeah. So um, I'm hoping today, uh, over the next two hour shows, to be able to get we're through, lose some of the mystery yes. and hopefully you'll get a better result. Fantastic. We'd like to get you involved as well. Absolutely. You, you can email in, you can ask Leslie any question you like. You can email in, it's studio at hochander.com or you can email the studio with your telephone number and we'll set it up for you to come live through to the studio so you can have a chat with Leslie and myself, which I think will be brilliant. So if you've got any questions, if you've got any techniques that you want us to discuss or any advice, then please, please do get in touch. You can also leave some uh, questions on our Facebook page as well, Hochanda on Facebook. We would love, love to hear from you. Now, you can head to the website. We've got so many different products for you, stamps and inks that you can choose from. And maybe you'll add those to your basket as Leslie goes through those great demonstrations. Leslie, of course, from Chocolate Baroque as well, which is a fantastic company. Yeah, Quality you. stamps as well. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, what we'll do is we'll tell you what we've got available on the show, some items right here, and then I'm going to let Leslie loose. But remember, if you've got any questions, it's studio at hochanda.com. You can leave some questions on our Facebook or if you really fancy it, you can come through to the studio and have a little chat with us. So, Leslie, we've got the archival ink right yes, here. We've got yep. these um, small, little, neat little yeah. pads. This is a lovely combination because all of these are what I call your basic staples. You've got all of these colours and you can pretty much work with anything. You can do grungy techniques, you can do uh, masculine. You look wonderful for doing vintage. And the staple of them all is at the bottom, which is a jet black. Yeah, fantastic. Now, these are just £13.99. 496955 is your item number, uh, plus your PMP today. It's a great value for money. Like you say, you've got all the different colours in there, which is fabulous. And black, we're going to be talking about mm, black yes, ink later on. Yep. Very, very interesting. OK, next up, we've got the pigment ink pads right here. And we've also got the shimmer as well, so the cosmic shimmer. So why have we got these together, Leslie? Pigment ink, which I'll go into 
on with detail about actually lends itself to using it with an embossing powder. Right. And black is one of the ones that is so difficult to use a clear ink and to use a black embossing powder because it's very much like soot. So okay. basically, you can use clear over your black and you'll get that lovely glossy finish. Oh, lovely. Sounds fantastic. If you fancy that, £9.99 plus your PMP, that really is a great price. You're getting both of those included in that price. 867993 is your item number for that. Then we have got some more ink pads here, which are fabulous. And again, uh, are you getting both of these? Yes. Wow, yeah. that's a great deal. So, Leslie, why would we use these? Right, the first one is the Versafine, which is the Onyx Black, which is probably the one that I use, and probably what a lot of us use here as demonstrators the most, yes. amongst the most we use. Uh, and I'll explain why when we get to the school. Uh, Versamark is the opposite. It's a clear, sticky ink, which allows you to add uh, embossing powders too. Right. Uh, so if you want to use colour embossing powders, you can also create resist techniques with this. You can also do watermark techniques, which is what this was originally invented Ooh, for. Resist techniques. Mm -hmm. I like the sound of that. Well, we'll be talking about that later. Yes. Excellent. Uh, so these are available to you, just £16.99 plus your PMP, 843130, that's your item number. You can shop on the web or you can go uh, and give us a call. And we've got a set of three here, haven't we? Yes, these are a range of dye inks. These are slightly different to most dye inks, but these are beautiful for doing kiss stamping, which if everybody remembers, I did that way back sometime last year. We'll be doing it again today. Uh, but great for good, bright, vivid colour. Mm. There are some beautiful colours there as well. Uh, so we have that buttered popcorn, mm -hmm. making me feel hungry. Mm -hmm. uh, electric lime, such a beautiful mm -hmm. colour lime, it really is, and not used enough. And Caribbean Coast. So those three dyes, £16.99, 304206. Definitely go for these beautiful, vibrant colours. Well, people who know me know I like colour, so yes. I, I had to pick something that was uh, absolutely out of the sky, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, um, something else on the show as well. We're very excited about this because I know these have been very popular. Mm -hmm. Yes, these are the Adirondack dyes as opposed to the pigment. So okay. it's the same family as the black at the other end, but these are the dye ones. Now these you can bray with, you can actually paint with, uh, and they are a very, very good dye. But once they are set, they are set solid. So, right. again, we've got a lot of uh, different combinations we can do yeah. with that. Lots of different techniques. So mm. these will set. You can't manipulate them. You but can while they're wet. While they're wet, but when they're set, they're set dry. Yeah. Fantastic. Just £14.99. They are new today. I think we're going to be very busy for these. 970118. Right, Leslie. Mm -hmm. It is about time to let you, you loose. Oh my God, are so you ready? Because I don't know if I am. Are you ready for this? I'm really excited. Yeah. I'm really excited to learn something new. And remember, if you want to get involved, please, please yeah, email please. in. Leslie's here to answer all of your questions. Studio at hochanda.com. Leave a message on our Facebook. Or if you fancy it, why don't you come through to the studio and give yeah. us a call? You can do that by calling the number you see on the screen, having a word with the call centre, or emailing the studio. So studio at hochanda.com. Let them know your telephone number. And if you feel up to it, you can come through to the studio. You can ask the lovely Leslie some questions. Is that all right? No, the th the, this show and the one at two o'clock is all about you. This is about you hopefully learning and getting more and better things out of your ink pads. Yeah, fantastic. So, you know, we, if you want to support us and if you would like to join in, we would love to have the interaction. Fabulous. Right, Leslie, I'm going to let you loose and we're going to have a look at the, the, the website. I'm going to put my feet up and have a cup of coffee. You're giving away my secrets. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take a look at the website and have a look at more items that are available to you. We've got those fabulous stamps. These really are gorgeous and top, stop, uh, top, top quality. You've actually been shopping ahead for these. Five star reviews as well, so don't take my word for it. They are available on Freedom as well. So if you see that blue banner and you are a Freedom member, that means your PMP is included. If you're not a Freedom member, why don't you become a member today? because your PMP will be included. So you can have a quick look at the products. You'll see there that the um, citron oxides, they are actually on pick and mix and they're back. So very, very popular. Uh, you can choose any two colors and you do have your freedom discount. 13 pounds and 49 pence. Beautiful colors there for you to choose from. Spice marmalade, walnut satin, lucky clover. You know, I found two clovers once, two four leaf clovers. Uh, so, that, yeah, so they are very, very lucky. Choose any two of those colours. £14.99 is your regular price. What a great way to shop with us. Head to the web. Maybe if you're watching uh, on Sky, you can have the website open. And as Leslie teaches us some new techniques, you can perhaps pop all of those products into your basket. Right, it's now time to let Leslie loose. <laughs> Thank you, Janice, for that. Lovely. 
Right, good morning, and I hope you're all sitting in your desks and you're all waiting. I did say to you, don't bring an apple for the teacher. Please just bring your enthusiasm, because that's what it's all about here. The first thing I want to talk about is black inks. Um, we all have black inks, and I've been asked many a time, Leslie, why do I need so many black inks? Because black is black is black. And like a lot of things in this world, it isn't. Um, we, I have a small selection here of black ink pads. One, two, three, four, five, seven to be precise. And that's not all of them. But these are ones that you'll have all have heard of. They'll probably be ones you've either got in your stash or that we have on the show today that you can add to your stash. And the beauty about them is that they might all be black, but they all do something different. And they all work differently with other mediums. So let's get started. Uh, I have got a selection here. So I've got Distress Ink Black Soot. Okay, so that's our traditional one. Distress inks, uh, uh, we use it for a long, long time. Great invention by Tim Holtz. And the beauty about these is that you can use them to do stamp with, but you can also paint with them. You can do wonderful uh, vintage techniques, very distressed techniques. And if you like your grunge, you like your mixed media, we all tend to fall back onto these. They have actually then now got the next one, which is my, I have to say, go-to, most of the time, all-time favourite, and that is the VersaFine Onyx Black, which we have on the show today. Uh, this one is with our VersaMark, and the details are coming up on the L now. It's $16.99 for the two. Can I just say that I have had both my VersaMark uh, and my... Uh, uh, Onyx, uh, Onyx Black VersaFine and my VersaMark pad itself for years. You can re-ink them, but the beauty about these is they're a different, slightly different type of pad to a lot of pads that you get, and they disperse the ink very, very evenly, and they last and last and last. Always stop your, Versa, uh, your pads this way up, and they will last you for a long time. So that's the next one. The next most popular one is an archival. And I mentioned this at the top of the show in that mini collection that you've got. Uh, this is Jet Black, and again, this is another staple that a lot of us demonstrators use for our stamps. Uh, it is what it says, it's archival, so if you like to do scrapbooking and journaling, and you don't want your uh, inks to disappear, and you don't want to cause any acid bleed with photographs or anything like that, this is the stamp pad to use. The next one, which is also a permanent one, is another one that we'll all have heard of. We haven't got it on the show, but it's a stays on. Okay. Now, Stays on Ink has been in the market for an awful lot of years, and traditionally it was one of the few inks at the time that would actually set on porous, no, porous, uh, sorry, non-porous surfaces, which is glossy card, acetate, parchment, etc., etc. Uh, I still use Stays on to a degree, but you can get a lot of good results with your archival. The other thing about Stays is it's not light fast. So if you've done a piece of artwork that you've hung up in your home or if you've got something that's on display where the light's going to catch it, trust me that this will actually fade over time if you get sunlight and strong light on it. So if you've created something that you want to keep for a keepsake, you don't use a stays on. Okay. Right, now I've got two different sorts of Adirondacks here. One we have on the show and the other one is part of the colours that, that are also on the show. The one in this hand is, and you know the difference because they have got different coloured boxes and lids, okay? So this is all black, which is the, um, the pigment one. And this one is the creamy background with a black lid, and that is the dye-based one. Again, they both have uses in the market. This one is great for embossing. This one is great for doing dye-based uh, things with, especially brayering. Uh, this is very popular for brayering. And you can create some really good effects with these too. And last but not least, we don't have this one on the show, but this is a memento. Uh, it's again another one that's popular in the market and a lot of people would have heard of it. This is probably one of the best ones for using, along with possibly the pitch black pigment ink, for using when you are doing anything with alcohol markers. I will explain more about that later on, but that is a great one to do. The other thing about it is a dye-based ink, but again, it's one of those that once it's dry, it's dry. Okay, so what do all these do, as I've said? So I'll start very briefly. I've actually got some cards set out in front of me here, but I'll show you the first couple of stamps, and then I will explain to you what I've done and what I'm going to do next. So stamping card, which we have on the show today. We've got Sheena's stamping card on the show, uh, which she swears by. Uh, and understandably, because if you want to do stamping, you've also got to make sure that the surface is good too. Something else that I'm going to touch on as we go through the shows. So, I'm going to start with the very first one, which is my memento that we, we, we ended up with. 
I have got one of our little stamps, which is from the Lily uh, stamp set that we have today. And the purpose I've used this for is because it's a very neat stamp, so it's not going to take up too much room stamping. And secondly, it's very, very fine detail. And I wanted to show you how blacks will actually show you um, that even blacks using a very fine, you'll get different uh, grades of black and uh, different appearances of the stamp. So let's start with a memento. Usual, lots of light tapping. Now, I actually, if you're going to do a stamping, well, an inking show, and you're going to use stamps, you would say the best thing that you need to bring, Leslie, is your stamps with you. Brought all my stamps for yesterday's shows, went to prepare this, and suddenly Ryan says, whoops, all the stamps that I have on the show today are actually still back up at the office. So these I've actually cut out from the ones that, that Chandra actually have here. Uh, but I want to show you, because I always have mine on cling foam, and I do recommend cling foam for us. It suits me and it suits a lot of people. And it does help you get a good, good, crisp image with your stamps. But I also want to show you that I can stamp without foam. So I'm going without the parachute of the foam. And I've used stick and spray on this, and it's cut it out and put it straight onto an acrylic block. Okay, so I've probably talked too much, and it's quite quite warm in here. Okay, so light tapping on the stamping card. And there is the first one. Now you can see there, got very, very good detail. Uh, it's a very crisp image, and it's, 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 it's pretty good, is that? Right, we now need to go to the next one. I'll just do two, and then I'll go along my card. The one thing you must do is, if you are using different inks, always clean your inks packs, uh, your stamps in between, because otherwise you can get almost, not a chemical reaction, but you can get a resisting reaction. So if you used a Versamark, for example, and you haven't cleaned your stamp, then you put an ink pad on top of it, it won't stamp properly because it's still, the Versamark is still interfering. If you try and put a dye with a pigment again, you're going to still have the same problem. So I know it's a chore, and it's not something I'm very good at doing, but, you know, please do it. Okay, so the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Black Soot Distress, which is probably the next one that we all know about and we all use. And good old Tim Holtz, who's... I think uh, everybody must have had a fantastic show with the One Day Special. I understand it's gone. So, uh, you know, Tim Holtz keeps coming out with all these wonderful things. And I do say, Distress Inks, I think, are probably one of the most used ink pads in the world. This is the Black Soot. Okay, and it is, as you know, a pure dye based. Okay, now you may say, say can you see there on the over? It's immediately the difference. Just in those two, same image, two different ink pads. That one you've got a lot less, oh, it's detail, it's much finer. This one you've got all the detail, but it's much darker. So, I haven't got black distress oxide with me because uh, we don't have it, but we do have other distress oxides on the show. And the Distress Oxide, which I'm going to show you shortly, is a different ink completely. The dye-based ink is very water-based, which is why you can do all the lovely techniques that you can do, and you can do full bleaching and all the other stuff, and paint with it and take colour out and all that sort of thing. It's excellent. The actual Distress Oxide is a combination of pigment and dye-based. So it's actually a thicker ink. And I can show you exactly what I mean by that now. If I take one of my ink blocks, and if I take... Um, I'll take the fossilised amber because that's good to see for a dye based and I'll take the spiced marmalade which is similar colour okay and I hope you can see the difference on these so there is the fossilised amber and you can see that's fairly opaque you can still see the white underneath and it's sort of a much much thinner ink it almost looks like a water with colour into it turn it round Okay, now this is my spiced marmalade, which is on the show today, and I believe that's with the walnut stain. And if I do this now, can you see? That is a much thicker ink. Okay, and they're both virtually the same age, if you know what I mean, because <laughs> this is a newer, a newer one. Uh, so it's not a case of, though that's not good, Leslie, because obviously it's running out of ink. It's a case of the differences. So this is, the opacity on this is different, because once this dries, you get that chalky effect. The oxidation happens as during the drying time. And if you paint with this, you will get that more oxidised, chalky finish. The other beautiful thing about this one is that Distress Inks, 
on their own, the die-based ones, you can't do on black card, okay? Because you just don't see it unless you're using the white, the picket fence. If you use the chalk ones, oh, sorry, not chalk, but the distressed oxides on dark card, you will actually be able to colour dark card. You won't get the same colour as that, but you'll get a paler version of that. So that's something to think about. So back to my blacks. I know that's a waste. Normally I would have done the background with that. Okay. So, as Janice said, if you want to email into the studio, please do. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. I know fabric okay yes questions if you wonder where i'm getting all the things from i've got a lovely lady called lottie who's my producer she's in my left ear and she just said hi to you all uh, <laughs> and she's the lady who will cast me on okay so claire and Gillian, thank you very much for asking the question you both want to know how to stamp on fabric there is a, a little ink pad out there called versa craft which is a little cube. Uh, they do do them in the larger this size, but they're also in the miniature cubes that you see around. And Versacraft is the stamp f or the ink pads for fabrics. They are purposely built, so if you want to use it, once they set with an iron, then they become washable. There are other ink pads out there that you can stamp on. You can stamp with archival and you can stamp with uh, one or two of the other ones I've got on here today. But only if you're doing it for decorative purposes. If you want to wash, you need Versacraft. There is also another one out there, but it's more difficult to get hold of, and it's called a Fabricraft one. And the Fabricraft one is also, again, dedicated to fabric stamping and inking. And again, heat set with an iron, and then once that's done and allow it to cool, then it's washable. So I hope that answers your question. Okay, yes, please keep them coming in. It's great to know that there is at least two people now out there watching me. <laughs> Okay, so you've seen I start with a memento and there is the black soot. I'm actually going to go in now and I'm going to show you here. I've done it on a bigger piece of card, okay? So there's the memento that we started with. As you can see, quite dark, good detail. There is the black soot. See, good detail, but a lot lighter. This is the pigment, again, the pigment Adirondack pitch black, and this one is, again, very much like the black soot distressing because it's a pigment ink, and a pigment ink is meant originally for using with embossing powders because it stays wetter longer, allowing you, so if you stamp something, you can go get embossing powders, cover with the embossing powder, and then you're away with your heat gun. This is the dye pitch black, as you can see, a darker colour because it is dye-based. Here is the Versa Fine Onyx Black, and I think probably, apart from the stays on, on here, that is going to be the darkest one that you'll get, which will show so much detail. Jet Black Archival Ink, brilliant again, permanent, fantastic one if you want to use it with anything to do with journaling, as I said before, scrapbooking. And then last but not least, we've got just stays on Jet Black, which won't budge for anything, except it's not light fast. So, that's... A great way of showing you how to do blacks and the reason I've set them out like that is because one thing you have to think about when you are stamping what is the end result now I'm not saying that you have to have a stamp and I'm going to what am I going to do with it am I going to paint it am I going to color it with distress inks am I going to color it with pencils am I going to use alcohol markers am I going to stamp it over acrylic paints and that's where you have to then think what you're going to do at that point because that will decide what ink you start off with. Because the wrong ink at this end combined with the medium at that end will give you the result that you don't want. And this is where people fall down. This is where people say, oh, I've tried, I've tried, I've tried. My inks don't work. They don't give a good image. I don't get the result I want. And I say that's because, unfortunately, you need the right tools for the right job. Hence the reason I thought ink school would be good. Okay, so let's assume that on these blacks we're going to take a water brush and we want to paint with them. So we, we've stamped our image and we've decided we're going to use watercolour paints or we're going to use aqua pencils. Any which, any which way you look at it, we're going to add water at some point to colour these images. So I've got the memento here. I'm just going to colour in the centre because that's the darkest one. Okay, and can you see? that doesn't like water because that is a dye based ink and although the image is set what it's actually doing is pulling out the black on there if I do it on a different type of that's on stamping card if I do it on a different card which has got a lot of chalk in it okay and do that 
can you see it hardly budges and the reason for that is if you use chalk card and this is what Sheena talks about a lot that if you've got a high content of chalk in your card what happens is it actually soaks up and drinks in the ink so therefore the ink has soaked into the card and therefore won't budge so this is why if you're wanting to do painting uh, on your stamping card and you're wanting to bring out the colour a smooth card with less chalk will let you do that one with a lot of chalk will actually sink it in and you see you can't budge the ink very much so that's on the memento you'd be surprised to know because you know a lot about distress inks that nothing will make it doesn't matter whether I'm using Sheena card I'm using chalk card here if I do that I've almost obliterated the image okay that's the stamping card on the chalk card I don't obliterate it because it's taken in but as you can see this is how we can blend out the color from a distress ink next one this is the pitch black Adirondack now the Adirondack um, um, pitch, uh, pitch black pigment as I said to you before is usually meant to be kept wet add embossing powder and that's lovely for you to do if you want to use pitch black and emboss and get that raised line which helps you with your coloring in and your painting so that you don't go out the lines or you find it easier then this is a great one to use you get that lovely glossy black finish on your actual image and then you can paint away and color away and you can also use alcohol markers at that point because you've set the ink so pigment ink doesn't move very much on the chart card on the stamping card it does a little but if I to do it on here, it's almost the same effect, okay? Because once that's dry, it will budge a little bit, but as I say, it doesn't go far. But it also means you couldn't colour with that one. So if you wanted to do a distress type of thing where you actually paint with your inks, you wouldn't use a pigment ink. Now we've got the dye-based pitch black. You see? Now look at that. Now, the other thing I want to show you, when these are all dry, you'll notice the difference in blacks as well not all blacks are black <laughs> sounds ridiculous but it's true um, so that's the dye pitch black on the stamping card and this is the dye pitch black on the chalk card and as you would expect the chalk has taken in most of the ink so that will give you some it depends what effect you want sometimes if you've got a very detailed stamp and you just want to sort of highlight the detail using this type of ink on a, on a chalk based card you can actually not too bad you will actually see how you've heightened the actual definition of the center of that flower okay next again so this is the versafine and this is the, the versafine by the way is an oil based ink if i haven't explained that already which is why it doesn't work on uh, non-porous surfaces because it's oil based it just it just rubs away so glossy card acetate anything that's got a finish that is non-porous then there's no way will have versifying you could leave it till the cows come home and it just won't dry so that's why it's good for definition because the oil actually gets into the card and it gives you a real good deep dark crisp image but as I say you've got to use the correct surface with the correcting pad so I can add water to that and as you can see absolutely nothing it doesn't budge and on here onto there doesn't budge either so that's great you want to use your watercolors you want to use your aqua pencils you want to use your brushes that's fantastic and then archival same principle because archival is set and not bet to budge with anything I can paint that with water and as you can see that's not happening either so I'll try it onto the actual chalk card and again it's slightly highlighting the deeper darker details but it's not actually moving the image and then last but not least sorry I got six on there because I did I did a smaller piece of card there is my stays on and you'd expect the stays on to do absolutely nothing so there doesn't budge and there doesn't budge so there you go those as you can see now before there's got a, I've had a question I believe from a lady called Tricia in France oh well, there's three people join us now <laughs> which ink is best to use a clear embossing powder if uh, again the pitch black the one that we have on the show with the clear embossing powder today that's the Adirondack pitch black pigment ink because pigment pinks are specifically oh, were originally specifically sorry wrong teeth in 
um, designed for working with embossing powders, whether that be clear or coloured. So yes, always try with a pigment ink first. You can emboss, if you've got a, a Versafine that's a really new Versafine that's got plenty of ink into it and it's juicy, it will stay wet enough because it's oil based and you can emboss with that. And you can sometimes emboss with archival but you know, the two I would start with, start with a pigment or a Versafine. And I hope that answers your question Trish. One quick thing, because I'm going to ask Janice now while I tidy all up this mess and get started with something else. Can I just show you on the overhead, okay, the difference here now in the blacks, okay? So can you see now, that's black or sooty black, that's black, that's brown. This is more like a dark brown. And these are the ones you wouldn't expect to budge anyway because they are the ones that are waterproof. So you see what I mean? Black is not always black. And at that point, I'm going to do a little bit of tidying up. Janice, could I invite you in? Wow, that was some brilliant demonstrations. I've learned a lot. I hope you've learned a lot. Yeah, it's really interesting, isn't it, how we use the different dyes and use the different inks because we were talking earlier about having the right tools for the right job yes. gets you the best results. Absolutely. Yeah. And if you don't want to spoil your artwork, uh, or, and if you don't want to be disappointed, and the one thing about it is you, we do this, we look at it mm. and we look things on the television, we watch Sheena, we watch Barbara, yes. you know, we've got Fiona in today. All our wonderful demonstrators who do stamping with ink pad and you think, oh, they make it look easy. You go and try it home, you don't get the result you want, you're disappointed and it can put you off. Yeah, it can, you know, we don't want you to be disappointed. No. We want you to use the right techniques. And we've got more demonstrations coming up later on. Yeah, I'm going to what, start myself out. What are we going to be looking at later on? When we come back later on, I'm actually going into a bit more detail with my distressing Ooh. pads. Okay. And talk about those and show you different things that you can do with those. Fantastic. Well, we're going to let Leslie loose a little later on, but we're going to take a look at some of the products in the show. We're going to take a look at the fabric inks because we've had some questions of those. Lots of questions coming in. Oh, the threaders. The yes. Threaders, yes. These are from Sorry, threaders. I mentioned threaders. They're That's good. Fine. Yeah, these are on Freedom as well, Leslie. So they're eleven pounds and ninety-seven pence, and that's for three different coloured inks, which is brilliant. So excellent value for money, and we all know that Thread is such a great company, and you're getting quality time and time again. Now we're going to take a look at Chocolate Baroque now because that's Leslie's company and we're going to take a look at the stamps available to you. These are top quality stamps from Chocolate Baroque. We've got some great samples to show you as well but first of all I'd like to show you the Hyacinth stamp. Now these are going to give you some beautiful beautiful images of that gorgeous flower. You might have these in your home but it really is a beautiful flower to work with. Now I'm just going to pick the stamp up if that's okay because it's all about the quality when you're stamping and you can see here you've got the different images that you can cut out individually so you can use those different stamps in many different ways but look at the detail that you're getting in there with the leaves and the flowers absolutely beautiful you've even got of course the bud there in the um, little basket at the bottom or the um, uh, jar. So that's absolutely beautiful. And again, we're talking about top quality stamps. £13.99. That's for your hyacinth. It's 523220, but this is available on Freedom as well. And your Freedom price is just £12.59 plus your PMP. Can I show a few samples uh, made with this particular stamp? Because they really are gorgeous. We've got some embossing going on in the background, but we've also got that great print just there. So we're really mixing the mediums up there. But it looks beautiful. That black on black, absolutely absolutely gorgeous and then so simple to add that tack there uh, and then you've got of course your sentiment at the top this is lovely look at this beautiful uh, little card which is excellent that you've got there which is beautiful uh, and again we can embellish that in many different ways every single card that I pick up and show you is at absolutely beautiful and again you can manipulate the backgrounds if you want to and use the stamps in so so many different ways I keep saying this is my favorite every time I pick one up uh, the, the, the art team at Chocolate Baroque are just gorgeous I love butterflies love the colors in this as well and it really depicts the hyacinth so beautifully so if you want to go for that you've got the item number on the screen but we are moving on because we've got other flowers and other stamps available to you and I know you're you really want to get back to Leslie we've got some fantastic demonstrations. Talking about Leslie, 
Chan, we love to talk about Leslie because she is fantastic. If you would like to get your questions in, it is studio at hochanda.com. You can also email the studio on that email and maybe give us a call. And if you've got any photographs that you want to show in of your projects, if you've got a project that's not going quite right, send in your picture. Leslie will give you that advice. That's why Leslie is here. Okay, now how much you've gone? 40% of the lily stamp has gone already. So incredibly uh, popular lilies. They really are a beautiful flower. And again, you've got that excellent stamp. It's a rubber stamp by Chocolate Baroque, and that means value. It also means you're getting quality as well. That freedom price, just £12.59, 938679, 13.99 if you're not a freedom member. Again, I just want to show you um, a couple of samples. This one really took my eye, and I took this over to Leslie, and I, and I just went, wow did you do this amazing she said yes yeah, she made it uh, yesterday that is so gorgeous and Leslie created the background as well again beautiful beautiful spring colors uh, lovely accents in there and a beautiful stamp to give you those gorgeous colors and if you follow Leslie's advice as well you will get the very best out of your stamps and that's why we're here today and that's why we're going to let Leslie loose a little later on let's move on because we've got five different stamps available to you that we want to show you. Uh, this is gorgeous. This is your breath of spring. Um, and we're approaching a quarter on this already. We are talking about spring. It brings smiles to your face, doesn't it? We're, we're leaving winter behind. But again, some gorgeous samples here of cards that you can create. All you'll need is your imagination. And again, the right tools for the job to get the right results. Isn't that lovely? This could be a thank you card. It could be a happy birthday card. It could be a Valentine's card it could be a mother's day card as well or a father's day card the choice is yours now that is gorgeous isn't that lovely that's a really nice mix of colors in there to really bring out that gorgeous gorgeous effect uh, oh again this is a, a similar one similar base let me just take a look at that again fabulous using those black inks as well and let me show you that one that we do have in color isn't that gorgeous? £13.99. pence. That is your breath of spring. That's available to you. And I believe that's available on a Freedom as well, where your P&P &P is included, twelve fifty nine. If you're not a Freedom member, just put triple eight, triple eight into your basket. You'll become a Freedom member. You'll get a newsletter. You'll get a badge. But you'll get those discounts and you'll get your P&P &P included on the items available to you in the show. It is worth becoming a Freedom member. We're moving on. We've got two more stamps to show you. And then we're going to let Leslie loose as well. I mean, this is gorgeous. What we've got here is a £2 saving. No freedom on this, but for £14.99, look at the beautiful stamps that you're going to get, uh, that you're getting, and that great, beautiful, wonderful detail. Imagine colouring these in, embossing them as well, uh, and creating those beautiful cards with those accents. Absolutely incredible. Available to you now. You can head to the web. 012917 is the item number, or you can give us a call. The website is a great way to um, order with that. Now, we have, let me show you some samples here. Oh, yes. Uh, are they that one? I think we've mixed and match. Is it? Yeah, we are getting off. <laughs> Do you know what my lovely producer just said in my ear, Lottie? Are you getting your piles mixed up? It's a bit personal for this time of day, uh, but yes, I do believe I am getting my piles mixed up. Uh, but we'll move on and we'll go to the next stamp because we do have some beautiful samples of this particular stamp available to you. Isn't that lovely? Again, such a mix of colours, those gorgeous distressed uh, ink with those great flowers. And what I love, again, it's that technique that you'll be using. You've got the stamp there, you've got that detail in the middle, but then you've got that faded edge, which really does make a difference. It really really does so many different samples to show you so many different things that you can create and make with your fabulous stamps zero double one three one two and this is your chocolate baroque bold blooms a5 stamp as well and remember we can cut these up and we can use them now all of the inks that we've been talking about in the show that leslie's been showing you are available on the web so that's the best place to head to you can see those great five star reviews as well and if you want to find out more about any product just tap on quick look and that will bring up more information for you and then you can make that informed choice to pop those items into your basket so 13 pounds and 99 pence but read the five star review pop that into your basket along with the other dies that Leslie will be recommending to you now talking of Leslie it's time once again to let Leslie loose 
Thank you, Janice. Lovely, lovely going down the counter. Did she doing well? Okay, right. If you haven't gone to sleep yet, I hope you're in for the next stage of state of uh, stage school there, ink school. Okay, I hope this isn't go too boring. I'm trying to sort of, you know. Uh, uh, apparently, thank you, Lottie. Again, my lady in my ear has just said that we've had some emails in. So thank you very much. That's actually emailed into the studio. Lots apparently. Okay, thank you. I will actually get to see them. I hope after I've done the show. And if there's anything specific and you don't want to come through the studio because you're feeling shy and you don't want to be heard. Um, please, you know, send questions in. Yeah, I've got some questions. Yeah, okay. Hello, Sophie. Good afternoon. No, good morning, sorry. I've been here a long time. Um, you want to know, Sophie wants to know what's the best ink to use with a jelly plate. Okay, you don't use any of the permanent inks with a jelly plate. So, a Versafine is oil based, so that will work with it, but you're best using the dye based. Distressed ones work well. Um, with it and also um, the pigment depending depending on the pigment pigment inks work quite strangely with a jelly plate you want something that's going to wash off or it will stain your plate so my advice to you is to go ahead with dye based inks so specifically the distress ones uh, because and the distress oxides because you'll get the most lovely prints with them and then you will be able to do other things on top with them and create more mixed media because you've got to do full bleaching etc Hi, Veronica. Okay, stamping on acetate. Traditionally, probably one of the worst ones to do, and usually as a demonstrator, the worst ones you do are live on television, but I'm going to do that this afternoon. <laughs> um, stays on has traditionally been the best ink to use on to uh, acetate because it does stay on and it dries very, very quickly. You can use an archival, but you do have to wait to, for it to dry, okay? But you could use archival and acetate, and if you had heatproof acetate and you'd use an archival, you could heat set it. Um, the w Francis, yes? Aha, one I'm coming on to this afternoon. There's two that you can use. You can use a, verse, uh, a memento, or you can use the uh, Adirondack dye, not dye, pitch, pitch black pigment. Oh, perhaps I'm teeth in, which we've got on the show today with the embossing. And I'll explain more this afternoon why you don't use any of the others, because you do get a very, very bad reaction. So I hope you can tune in this afternoon, Francis, to see some demonstrations of which ones you don't use, as well as the ones that you do use to get the best out of your alcohol markers. OK, get back to it. Right, I'm going to talk about distress inks and distress oxides, but I'm also going to bring into the mixed dye-based ones too, because a bit like the blacks, black isn't black isn't black, dye based or dye ink pads aren't all equal. Let's start with the ones that we're used to. These are the good old distress ones. I've got vintage photo, fossilised amber and spiced marmalade. And I'm going to do one of my usual techniques which is on a um, acrylic block and this is a great way to make backgrounds and it's a great way for you to learn about inks and to learn about colour as well. So always try and put three colours that will correspond or complement each other because the one thing you will get with distress inks, if you don't put the right combination together, is you'll get mud. Uh, excuse me, spray bottle here. Uh, so distress inks do, do follow the pattern. If you put the wrong colours together, so if you put purple and yellow together, you will get muddy brown. Uh, if you put red together with purple, you will also get a muddy brown so they do follow that uh, that same line so ink and just take my regular card I've got that many pieces of card here and colour over the top and that's how you create your backgrounds okay and that is a quick easy way to make a background I'm going to do the same one with the same type of inks but I'm going to not the same type the oxides but with different colours to show you how you can get a slightly different look. So I've got the walnut stain, I've got the spiced marmalade and possibly I will use a fossilised amber just to do the, the three. Okay, there we go. Clean this down first. Okay, just really, I don't know what it's like where you are today, but it's freezing cold here today and was snowing at my end of the world yesterday. So, right, so now straight away, can you see the difference in these inks? Okay, as I said to you earlier, these are a lot thicker. They um, kind of stick to the block 
and the reason being is because as I say they are a combination I'm using spiced marmalade and walnut stain which we have on the pick and mix today which is 613625 I believe and I'm also using fossilized amber for the third color now once I spritz these you'll actually see now can you see how they go very very opaque you almost can see them go chalky and if you use another piece of the same card and do this over here okay now when that dries you will see that that dries more chalky than that one uh, this is the chalky finished cardstock I'm using here so it is working it's 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 pigment it's it's um, peeled slightly where the water's uh, penetrated but it makes a good background that on stampy card really a lot smoother you could also do it on a satin card it will stay wet a lot longer but you get a different sheen to that um, so that's the that's those now then you can also stamp with the distress oxides as well as stamping with the dye ones and we've all done that but a couple of things you can't do let's go first with stamping with get my favorite little friend out again and let's stamp onto the sheena card with the spiced marmalade and this is a dye based one Okay, oh, guess who didn't do what she's supposed to do when I talked to you about earlier on. This is, see what happens? It's actually good to show you. I didn't clean off for my last demonstration and I've got a combination of inks now. So, uh, yeah, my, my director's saying it looks quite cool, but it's not actually what I was what You see, see what happens when you don't do what you say you should do. <laughs> yeah, happy accidents too. I'm quite sure that some of the wonderful things that we see in the art world these days have always been discovered through things that weren't meant to happen. So there it goes. So there's the spiced marmalade. So I'll clean that and I will use the spiced marmalade in the oxide. Straight away, can you see the difference on the ink pad? You can see that much more clearly. Because it's a thicker, stickier ink, uh, it will adhere to the rubber and you will also get a different effect. Okay, you see, that's much brighter and almost looks thicker and that's much paler. Now then, the one thing I don't usually do is dry off, but I want to dry these off because I want to show you what happens once they're dry. Okay, so quickly dry, water brush again, whoops, starting to look like craft room. Okay, so can you see on this card what's happening? But it's actually taking out a lot of the detail. So you're actually got the you've actually got the outside edge, but all the detail in the middle has been washed away. Okay? Because the dye will it reacts with water. And even if you dried that and left it to dry and go back again, it will react and re it'll re react itself and it'll keep reacting. Okay, the different one here with the actual the, the, the oxide one is it does exactly the same on the stamping card, but you can actually leave some of the detail in, but you actually get a more vivid colour. Okay, if you can see. Now, both of those are great for painting. They're great for doing the faux bleaching. They're also extremely good if you wanted to add um, a vintage look. So if you wanted to stamp a whole project in, say, vintage photo or tea dye, in either, whether you did it in distress oxide or whether you did it in the d traditional dye inks, you will get that lovely sepia tone. And if you use a really strong chalk-based card to do it, then you won't pull out as much of the colour and the detail as I have on that one. So Sheena's stamping card, as I've said, it blends beautifully. That's why she woos it for all her inks and all her beautiful painting techniques, because you get that subtle blend. A lot of us use a th different card, and you don't know what the chalk's in, so you just have to try it, unfortunately, because they don't tell you when you buy it. Um, if I just do one more with the actual onto the chalk base, the more chalk-based card, and then I'll go into the dyes. Okay. So how vivid is that? But this time, do you see, because it's chart based, it's already it's taken in 
the detail. So it's, it's sucked in, it's drunk in the ink. So can you see now, that actually is good because the chalky based one, I can actually, it's taken in the ink. This one, this ink is floating on the top. This one is allowing me to do painting, but it's not losing the detail. So it's also, so surface and inks do play a big part. So, said I dye based aren't always the same. We have these wonderful, and I do like these because they are beautiful stamps, uh, stamps, inks, the uh, dye based uh, dye pad from Ranger. And then we have got also Ranger's Adirondack Earth Tones. I'll probably do some braying after lunch with these, but I just want to show you again the difference with them. Uh, I'm back on again at two o'clock, so if you want to email any questions in ready for us starting at two o'clock, please feel free to do so. Um, I will have a look at the emails when I've left here. If there are any specific questions and if I can answer them, uh, we'll get back to you. I might do it on air if that's all right with everybody this afternoon. So here's the dye base one. Okay. And I'm going to stamp it twice, once on the Sheena card and once on the chalky base card. So there it is there. Okay. Nice strong colour. It's a beautiful colour. And there's nothing wrong with, you know, I always say if you want blue trees and blue flowers. Um, okay. So there it is. So again, you see how that's stronger because the chalk is sucking it in, so therefore the ink's disappearing. The ink is floating on the top there. If I take my water brush now. See, that doesn't budge. It's already, it's got, you've lost it. It's just, that's it. So that's a dye based ink we've just used and it took the detail out and it paints. That's a dye based ink and as you can see, no amount of water is going to budge that. Try it on the chalk based card and you will get a result but you won't get the same as that. What happens on the chalk based card is it actually, can you see the detail? Because the detail is strongest, stronger uh, lines, the actual, on the chalk based card, okay, if the water is actually being sucked in into all those lines. So you can get, so you can get a stronger effect which will help you with your shading. So can you see the difference there? Okay, so again, it depends on what you're using, but that's quite, I quite like that look. I quite that think that's nice. That gives you a bit of painted colour without having to go anywhere else and use any other, any other product. This one, nothing's going to budge that. So that is almost the equivalent to an archival and a stays on. It's just going to set. Okay. What I will show you this afternoon, I'm going to show you kiss stamping between two colours of these. They do together when they're wet blend very well for doing things like that. But for just ordinary stamping, if you wanted to colour out or if you wanted to blend out, you don't use that one. Just use that purely for colour. And last but not least, I'm going to talk about the cranberry, which is also on the show. We have a set of three of these on the show. Uh, they're new today. We have got cranberry, ginger, and I believe it was wild plum. I think that's correct that we have today. Um, we'll go down the counter and we'll talk about them shortly. They're not up on the L at the moment, but um, the uh, coming up now, I think, there we go. Cranberry, ginger, and wild plum. I did remember correctly. <laughs> 970118, and they're £14.99. And these are fabulous for a lot of different things. You can bray with them, you can colour with them, and you can also stamp. Brayers are on the show. I uh, will do some braying this afternoon. Uh, but let's just do finally this this last one. This is a lovely colour. Uh, the uh, cranberry. Uh, again, I've chosen some of my favourite colours. Um, this is the cranberry on the chalkier based card and this is the cranberry. Isn't that lovely rich colour? Now actually I like the combination of those three colours. Yeah, I do like that. This actually looks very much like um, one that a distressing uh, and the distressing and it is called, um, it's called, it'll come to my head very shortly, but there is a distressing that's very much the same colour. Okay, so there we go. You see, that's drunk in, so it's gone deeper and darker. That's sitting on the top. Let's go with my water brush and see what happens. Okay. So there we go. So I could actually add very subtle subtlety with this, or I could paint the whole thing out. 
say, so you can be very light and gentle, so it works beautifully. Because the ink's floating on the stamping card, it allows you, but you can still see the detail. If you do it on the, on the chalk-based card, see, it won't budge. Again, you're going to get that darker detail in the centre, like I did with that die, but it won't budge because the, the card said, thank you very much, that's nice and wet, I'll take that. So again, can you see the difference? So all of these ones are done on Sheena's stamping card, which is meant to be able to blend inks because it floats on the surface before it actually hits in and gets set into the card. Chalk-based cards, chalk-based card, as soon as you put an ink pad on it or wet anything, it automatically goes, and there you go. So therefore, it won't allow you to move inks about, which is why it's not good for watercolouring either. Right, let's go back to these two. These were the ones I did with the Distress Inks earlier and I did the Technique, okay? Same colours, virtually. Oh, actually, probably better if I lay it down, is it? Sorry, Director, I'm, I do apologise, I'm being a nightmare. Okay, this, I don't know if you can see, okay? Same colours, almost in the same area, but if you can see, that is a much deeper, thicker colour. This is the Distress Oxide. And this is on with the dye based. Now what we can do, let's just do this to both of them. So I'm wetting, okay, got a piece here. Actually probably need to wet a bit more, get it quite, quite damp. Okay, now then. Because I used a chalk based card in both of them, can you see? no change whatsoever. If you're waiting for it to go <gasps> instant, it won't. So if you like all those techniques, again, that Sheena uses and you see myself and other demonstrators use, where you fold bleach it out or you put some spots on it and some speckles on it and allow it to make it look like raindrops or to give it that lovely texture effect behind whatever else you're doing with your mixed media, chalk card won't let you do it because it's also drunk the water in. So it won't move the ink and it won't move anything else and it'll just make it wet again. Okay? Well, this is the trouble, unfortunately you can't. Uh, I wish there was a grade on it. I wish, I wish there was a, 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 a question, sorry, I'm answering my head rather than, uh, which I don't usually do, but uh, Mary, thank you very much. She's asked the question is how can you tell the difference, how can you tell which card's chalk based and which card isn't? And unfortunately it is a very much uh, a game of t try and tell. Uh, it's not put on the back of cards. Uh, we try to source it. We have got a good stamping card as have Crafter's Companion with a Sheena card. Also, Clarity have got good card too. Um, one of the ones that really work, the um, stamping card with Sheena, as you can see, that was brilliant because it paints beautifully. You may want to use the chalk card for some things. Uh, my advice to you is that if we recommend a card here, whether it's myself, Barbara, Sheena or whatever, we're not recommending it because we're just trying to sell it to you, we're recommending it because it will do the job that it's meant to do. Sorry, Mary, I know that's probably not the answer you want, but until we get to a stage in the, um, in the um, process where you actually put on the back of the card, you know. Janice. Yes. Wow. Fascinating. <laughs> Fascinating demonstration. That has gone very quick. It has, has it? I don't know where it's gone, but we are back later on this afternoon, aren't we? We are later this afternoon, yes. Um, I've just heard something. Somebody has, somebody's emailed. Jackie, yes. I should write a book. Oh, thank you. You should. <laughs> you should because, you know, the techniques that you've been showing us are absolutely fascinating. Mm. If you're new to stamping as well and thinking you could just pick up a stamp and put it on any card, this is such a fascinating show to learn mm. all of those different techniques. I hope you all enjoyed it and thank you for staying with me. I hope you can join me again at 2 o'clock. Yes, we're back at 2 o'clock. We're going to let Leslie loose again. Different at things two. again and I'll show you, explain about different stamps and again different surfaces and other inks. Fantastic. And, and you can still get your questions in as well. Studio yeah. at hochander.com. We'd love to hear from you or maybe leave some of your questions on Facebook. We've still got plenty more to come. Thank you, Leslie. Thank we'll you. We'll see you later see on. You later. Don't go anywhere. Spectrum Noir Art Liner. Ooh. That's coming up now. Uh, and then we've got Tim Holt's One Day Special. And we're going to let Leslie loose yet again at 2 o'clock. Don't go anywhere. More to come on Ho-Chanda.
order your two-for-one ticket offer or to view all other ticket options, visit www.hachanda.com today and treat yourself and your friends to a fantastic day out. If you're a Freedom member, you'll receive an extra 10% off the ticket price. Hi, I'm Sarah Davies and I've been an avid crafter for most of my life. It's actually a love of paper crafting that inspired me to start Crafters Companion when I was just 21, actually running it from my university bedroom. Since then, the company's really grown and gone from strength to strength, and I feel privileged that we were invited in the early days to become part of the Hachanda family. I absolutely love working with the team here at Hachanda because they really understand what's important and that's that I want to be able to have the opportunity to show you things in detail, to teach you and to really inspire you. So make sure you watch out for me, Sarah Davies and Crafters Companion on Hachanda. Hello, I'm Debbie and this is Kim and together we are Six Many Memories. We've known each other for about eight years and we're based uh, just outside Newcastle in the northeast of England. We're very lucky in the fact we've managed to bring lots of new things. We always try and bring new things, new books, patterns, fabrics, kits, notions, always quality. And we do get the opportunity to do lots of demonstrations, which is great. We're looking forward to continuing our journey with Hachanda and with you. We've got some beautiful fabrics on order as well as lots of notions. And we've got the new booklets, which have at least three projects in them, which will have lots of new quilts, tips and techniques. Make sure you don't miss our shows. We always try to make them informative and fun. That's it. And we just want you to sew. Hope you can join us. Well, hello there and a very, very good afternoon to you. It is 12 noon, so just on the cusp of the afternoon, high noon, with such a good offer from Crafters Companion. Um, with Fiona Clayton here to demonstrate with us. Fiona, this is, is such a wonderful system that yes. I know that you've really I love had it. fun with. Yeah. And, and it's all about creating your own lettering, the brush script. It's huge at the moment. So typical Crafters yes. Companion have made it accessible and That's really right. good value to be able to do and create. Look at these, for example. So Aren't they great? The so what this system is all about is all about enabling everyone, you and me, to master the art of brush lettering or hand lettering. This is not about learning to write. This is not about your handwriting. This is about learning to draw letters. And what Crafters Companion this. has done is they have put together a system so that you can do this, so that you can start creating your own sentiments, so that you can start putting on here things that you will be able to achieve. Thanks. And so what you can do is you can take it from the system and I've just reached behind you because I want to show you some of these because when you get your confidence, yeah. you will really then start making these your own. Look Imagine being able to write your own sentiments like that. Imagine being able to maybe add something so simple to a card. Music is good. That is great. Good yeah. for your soul. Being able to do that and to do that with confidence any time you want, whenever you want. And the thing about this system is it is super, it will take you a bit of time to master the strokes. Um, yeah. But we, we are talking hours and days. We are not talking months. We are talking being able to do this pretty much from the get-go. And even if you decide you love the look, but maybe, yeah. maybe it's going to be a little while before you start writing words. Look at this. In this right first there. collection that we're going to show you, you've actually got some script words that you can be using. Look at that. That looks as if it was handwritten, that happy yes. birthday, doesn't it? A beautiful set of stamps. 
It comes with a DVD, yep. which is fantastic. Sure. Some of you may have seen Jennifer Tryon. Yeah. She works out in the States with Sarah, but mm. she also did some shows here. And she has put together the most s simple, foolproof way of you getting to grips with this. And I'll tell you what, you will be doing this. It is addictive. Once you get going, yeah. it's absolutely addictive. And I will show you well, everything that I did yeah, to get yeah. going. We'll see oh, your phone we show people well. what they oh, get? Yeah, 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 the actual pens themselves. Yeah, let's just very quickly before we get into, yes. the, into the bundle that we've got for you today. I've just chosen two at random from, yes. from the big bundle and they're available in singly as well. But we'll go into that in more detail. Let me pick one of the fine liners here. Um, there it is. So we're talking, I've got the, num uh, the, the three. That's the, the, three. Yeah, the point yeah, three. Yeah, that's the point three. And they go down to naught point not five, five. Yeah. so even finer than that so you get some fine liners but the the magic in this is in the brush yeah, nib which is in brush. the other one that we're getting because we this brush nib is just fantastic it really is it's perfect for a beginner and for somebody who's experienced the light. The nib is really flexible and it bounces back and that will be important when you see what you start to do with it. Yeah. The fact that it goes back to this beautiful point yeah. and that is my set of pens. Yes, so that's, that's not a brand new set, that yeah. is my set of pens which I use. So you can yeah. see how well those nibs come back to shape yes. and that's what you want in a good pen for handwriting. you used yours a lot as oh, well, yes. so that's amazing that they're still in that springing back perfect quality. Yes. So, in the bundle that's pictured on screen there, it's 39.96. We are getting this uh, uh, area here. Just yes. get these pens and this DVD. And these well. stamps. And the stamps, of course, yeah. Yes, so you get these beautiful handwritten stamps. Happy birthday, thank you, blessed, hello and love. Great sentiments to start it with. You are then also getting, now this is the black um, art liner and brush nib set. So if I tilt this forward, yeah, you'll see. I'm going to try and tilt it forward I'll so that, that you can you see. You, you can see you've got all those different sizes of fine liner, all in black, and the brush, black brush pen in that collection. So they're all really useful. Yeah. If you love doodling, you're going to adore this set. Um, pigment ink, by the way, and you Thank also you. get this beautiful set of eight brush is yeah. this is like having a rainbow of art liner brushes to use they are fantastic beautiful colors because they're a pigment ink they will be that vibrant yeah so waterproof as well that's very very important the piece de resistance is this this is our jennifer this time and she breaks the system down into nine simple steps that's it. Nine simple steps. And I know we're going to try and show you we some will. of this to yeah. show you how easy and clear it is. And the camera work is great. You're going to see right up close yeah. Yeah. what Jen does in order to get these. And of course, we'll be having um, some playing with this as well on the show today. So that is the first collection. OK, so you get your stamps, you get your uh, DVD as well with all of those step by steps. And you get your colourful brushes, the rainbow colours, the, they're the brights in the brushes. And then you get your fine liners here ranging from 0.05, so 0.05 point zero five uh, and then zero point one up to zero point eight and then that's your brush all of that is one where one eight two six five six is your item number uh, and you get a saving of fifteen pounds you can spread the cost it's nineteen ninety eight today nineteen ninety eight yes. next month to get it or thirty nine ninety six plus delivery all in one um, the other set of pens that we've got yes. here um, Fiona is uh, over now, this way now they this are the, the fine liners let's, let's start with the fine liners okay. in the brights because these are the perfect um, fine liner brushes which match the brush liner brushes in the other sets so the colours are identical so if you want to doodle lines perfectly they work together okay. and then you've got your neutrals and you have got grey and brown in there and you get two brushes you get one grey brush one brown brush and you also get the fine liners as well which go with them neutrals are really useful to have in your collection which is why we've put those together if you bought that set with these yep. You would have all the, all the pens covered. that we're currently doing at the yeah, moment. Yeah. There is something else. Oh, I know you want to give the price yeah, on those, but yeah, I want uh, to what, jump to the stamps. What, no, no, no That's problem. Fine, it's fine. No problem. It's okay. Because the only reason why we both do want to cover <laughs> the price on this is because it really demonstrates the value in getting the whole bundle. Yeah. Because it's twenty four ninety eight plus three with a five pound saving six nine one three two one. But that's not necessarily the option that you want. But all of this is yeah. building somewhere, and that's the big bundle, which includes these stamps. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And these stamps come as two Separately. individual options. Yeah. This lower case set just here now that is a set that if you don't have any others i would strongly recommend you get those because can you see those rather strange 
um, shapes at the bottom just there. It's like yes. a loop and a squiggle and a it circle is. and something which looks kind of like an N. They are your building block strokes. They are the, the strokes which are going to enable you to do this. So that set, if you don't have anything else, I yeah. would put that set in. This is just a beautiful alphabet to get you started in a handwritten font which Jennifer has put together. It's a lovely one to start with, but by by all means, it's not the only yeah. only alphabet style you're going to use when you start handwriting because that's the thing. You make this personal. It's you are right. going to love this. You really yeah. are. Well, this is your lowercase, and it's 997 plus delivery, but it's the lowercase with the building blocks down here. They all will become apparent. Yeah. We've got loads of questions. That's good. It's a good thing. Yes. Uh, and the uppercase is over here. Also, same price, uh, different item number because they are available separately. However, uh, in the big complete collection, which let's face it, that's the one that we all yeah. need and that's the one that we all want. In this way, you're getting every art liner that's currently available in the Spectrum Noir collection, and you're getting it with a special price uh -huh. built on top of all the savings. So you've got all of the different bundles with their all say all with their savings attached, and then with an additional five pounds off on a special price today, making it for Freedom members an additional twelve ninety nine off. Uh, and your final price there, if you're with Freedom, is seventy one ninety three, including delivery, to get everything we've just gone through. Wow, uh, seventy nine ninety two plus delivery if you're not with Freedom. So it really it pays to join freedom it's a freedom why not deal you, you wouldn't yeah. get this without a freedom membership so excuse me your item number there is six six seven three zero three um, to order now it's okay Fiona sorry about that cough. right okay. this is the one that you want so we're gonna use that uh, DVD just to show you a bit of footage uh, before we get to demonstrate so with this art line of DVD yes. it's broken down so beautifully isn't it, it really is it really is so wonderful and that Jen Jennifer will take over and she will show you exactly how this whole system works. And it is so simple and easy to use once you get to the base of it. And you can see beautifully well written. You can see it's gorgeous. The, mm. the, you can see right, right into what she's doing and how she's working. And she is so enthusiastic about this because she loves her letter writing. Yeah. And yeah. I do too. I yeah. think it's great fun. It really is. Well, being able to go personal with something to create your own sentiments, create your own brush script, I mean, it, it is a wonderfully f freedom giving technique yes. and skill to have. Uh, and that's just purely the little introduction there on the DVD. You'll be able to get straight in there uh, as you get yours delivered to your home. And imagine what you pay for some sort of course imagine. to learn that. It's incredible. Imagine. I mean, there yeah. are courses out there. Yeah. But let me tell you how I started. Um, I had my first show with these. And in fact, the last show I did was in September. Right, okay. Um, and they said, oh, you're doing an art line show here. And I went, oh, that's great. Never actually done it. Send me the stuff. Yeah. And I spent five days. I had five days in my diary. And I spent five days. And it's on Twitter. And I did little videos and bits and pieces. Yeah. But these are my workbooks. Because the key to brush lettering is consistency. And the key to consistency is practice. But the thing is, this makes it fun. It makes it nice and easy to do. These are actually my notebooks from the very beginning, learning my strokes, and you'll see some of them have a bit of a wobble in. And I mean, the, they are just good fun. I mean, there are things like ovals, and you'll see I've got little, <laughs> little <laughs> frowny faces when it wouldn't work. But do you know what? It is fun. It's an easy thing to master, and very, very quickly you will be writing this. And the thrill that you get when you suddenly discover that you can draw letters, which is what this is all about, yeah. is great, absolutely amazing, because then you can really start to personalise your gifts, and you don't have to worry about having the right stamp, because you have got whatever quote you want to write, whatever thought you want to say, if it's in your head, you can get it on your card or your project. Um, right. We've also got the principal vellum on the we show. They, they go hand in hand with each other, don't Well, you they? can see how, what, how much I've used of it here, because the principal vellum is a fantastic surface to work on, and it means you can trace, which actually cuts down the stamping as well. So, can, shall I, shall I yeah, show yeah, get you? In there, Fiona, right, yeah. okay. So, no, I'm going to take... Though, just in these books alone, the, 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 the speed at which, Fiona, you went from that first initial brush. Yeah. Too, it uh, was it really was about fonts. it was day two I was yeah. I was writing Amazing. and playing I mean it really is so easy so yeah. what you've got on here is you've got this beautiful brush nib it is really nice and thin I've just chosen one of the colors at random that you can see there and the nice thing about that brush nib is it bounces back this is my pen it's one I've used so you can see it's still bouncing back now what you would do 
is you would use a smooth card. So I would use either a Nina Solar White or the printable vellum is perfect, which okay. is why I fought get to it. get some on the show. Um, I really thank would. Thank you for the um, how hard it is to get hold of. Right. Vellum. So you've got these wonderful shapes at the bottom here. And this is where they all build from. These are the strokes that you need to master. If you can do these, you can hand letter. And these will take a little bit of practice. But these are about, remember, these are about drawing something or learning to draw something that you already know what shape it's meant to be. So it makes it nice and easy. So with all of them, they're that lovely acrylic. So they're nice and easy and clean. And all you do is stamp them out. Now I use a light Sorry. printable, uh, a light ink, so this is a memento ink, this is London Fog in fact, because it's a nice light colour. Now, let me just go now. I will explain what I'm doing, I've got enough on there that I can explain what I'm doing. What you want to do when you're learning to brush a letter, it's not, if you write normally, if I write normally, I'll do Hello. Nice. Yeah? <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> but can you see I was moving my hand and the pen was moving yes. like that. Yeah. Brush lettering is not about moving your fingers or moving your wrist. It's about moving your arm. And the, the reason that came really clear to me is um, when I was learning. So you see you actually move mm. the whole of your arm. So you start. So this is your entrance or ascender stroke. Yes, and the so idea is that can you see you're picking it up there you go yeah your and knuckles are not moving nice normally our thumb, thumb and right. forefinger knuckles will be moving and we'll be bending and the wrist that's right so yeah. that nice smooth stroke so that's an ascender stroke or an entrance stroke every right. letter has one of those okay. most letters will have a descender stroke as well now that's what this rather weird boot one is so for a descend stroke, you start at a point, and then as you come down on a stroke, you put more pressure on, and then you lift off again. Can you see? Okay. So I'm using the stamp to give me a guide, because the stamp will actually show me where it's thick and thin. So we're going to go down. So that's why we've got this. Stamp. And up. So the stamps give you something to trace over, and you can see how thin you can get and then of course once you've got the hang of it you can start to do it freehand and see how you get on but can you see it is go thin and then up this is not about rushing mm. this is about taking your time you saw how many times I just repeated and repeated and repeated the stroke yeah. and the thing where it clicked for me where's Fred okay Fred. I went at the, my foot day one I, I was having terrible problems and I couldn't get them straight and they were wonky and they were wobbly and I thought, oh no. Right. But I have carpal tunnel. This is a brace I wear at home okay. when my carpal tunnel is being awkward. But when you pop it on, what it does... Now I'm not suggesting you go out and buy one of these, but it was but the you, highlight you. moment for me. It's what it does when you put this on, is it holds my wrist and my hand rigid. Can you see? So I can't be bending things around because that goes in there. I cut, so I have to move my hand like that. Yeah. And what I suddenly realised, and I think there's a eureka moment somewhere in those files, so I went, that's what I meant to be doing. So actually, so long as you keep your arm straight here and it's going to be moving, so you're moving from here, if you like, and all of that you're using to work. Yeah. So. On this transition stroke, can you see, whenever you go up, you go thin. So we're going to put the pen on, and you will take a while to find the pen. So we're going thin up, heavier down, then lift off here, and up again. Can you see? So on the up stroke is a thin up stroke, then transition and heavier down. Now transition out of it again, so you're lifting off. All from that one brush near. And then the going. upstroke. Yeah. But it's about the control yeah. that you have. And everything like this is so much easier. Now, before we disappear, can I show you something? <coughs> because this is what I did. Because I thought, well, that's good, but it's going to take me ages okay. to keep stamping them out. In comes the printable vellum. And I just ah. give myself... A whole row of oh, these ovals. Yeah. So then, 
all I need you to do is okay. use my vellum, and of course I've, I, I just stamped them out onto any old card I had here. Yeah. Now with an oval, you start, imagine this is a clock face, so you've got 12, 3, 6 and 9. Okay. So for an oval, you don't start where you think you would, you start at 3, you go up, press down, go up again. Now it would be impossible to end that, so you take that all the way around and hide so your dying, end, yeah. hide your end in the big bit. Yeah. So, and again, this is all about practice. So you go up, start transitioning to a heavier pressure, heavier pressure, lift up again. There we go. And then round. So this is, it is really about learning, as I say, to draw letters. And this is the way you'll get those perfect ovals in all your letters. If and how much easier is that than having to stamp it out again and again and again? I can do a whole sheet of ovals if you want. And if you make a mistake like this, well, you turn it into something. Turn it into a penguin. Sure. There you go. There we are. There's it's my so little funny. penguin. Oh, but you know, I mean, this, this is the thing. It is all about learning how to do it. And the more confident you become, the quicker you will get. Because what you're doing is you are building muscle memory but look how well it works on that printing parchment and this is why i said if you're gonna add anything you into the show add that and if i wanted to then do some loops at the end which is another key part of your your writing so we're going up so it's going to be thin and then down thick and come out can you see so we'll do it again so for your loops which are in a lot of your letters you're going up thin and then down heavy and then you lift up so you get those beautiful end points as well and you've also got percy the penguin in there too. yeah you have but it's a nice penguin. easy way to do it and so what jennifer will do she'll teach you through how to build your, your letters and your letters up using all of those strokes mm. and then we'll get on to the fun bits which we'll do in a minute which is about learning how you do your letters and starting to flourish but if you can master those simple strokes you can do this you have got this yeah, we've got a lot to show you in this next hour, so we're looking forward to it. Uh, we've got an hour later on this afternoon, too, at 4 p.m. So when you've placed your order, remember that Fiona is back here at 4 o'clock this afternoon to learn even more. Now, we've been using the printable vellum. It's very useful for our, for our purposes. Um, we're not printing onto it necessarily. We're using it as a, uh, as a transparent or semi-translucent paper to be able to cut down on the amount of stamping that we're doing so that we can go through it. Or if you want to have your finished results on the vellum, then fair enough, go, go for it. Um, get it for multiple different reasons today because it's also on an introductory offer um, you're getting 45 sheets there are 15 sheets in each pack and that's 9.97 plus delivery it's a very very good price at the moment um, it works out at 20 to 22 pence per sheet uh, 867523 uh, to order now um, on that go for it 867523 um, well this is it now we have various different offers on for you um, we've got the lovely uh, stamps we've got the uh, art liners uh, in the bright colors and in the black with the brush and the fine liner uh, with the DVD uh, or if you want to go for the other art liners which is the finer tipped art liners in the bright and then the uh, neutrals in terms of the brown and the grey uh, you can do that with your brush and your fine liners uh, and they come also in the big bundle where we'll get there then you've got your stamps as well which you're going to make learning about this whole process this whole system so much easier and more doable um, you've got the uppercase stamps uh, uh, oh, sorry lowercase stamps here first I'll talk about uh, with your build uh, sort of elements to build in your fonts um, and then you've got your uppercase uh, they're both 9.99 per set but the details are on the screen at the moment on the bottom of your screen for the complete collection now that comprises everything we've just been through there's a freedom price on it and you might be thinking well, I'm not a freedom member uh, no problem because you're saving once you're a freedom member you're saving and on the delivery saving more than it's costing to join freedom so it works out to join freedom to get the saving on the complete collection details are on the left hand side of the screen if you just want to get into your art lining because that way that's a golden way of getting the DVD because details are on the left to get hold of the DVD plus your black fine liners plus one black brush and then your 
your multicolored uh, brights for your brushes. That uh, set comes with this stamp set too to help you practice. That's a saving of fifteen pounds. So savings everywhere on whichever bundle you're going for. But it's a, a lovely sort of freedom to have, isn't it? To create your own sentiments, to create your own pieces for a card or for um, something larger, which might be home decor. Could even be a piece of home furnishing too, couldn't it? There's no reason why, you know, a piece of furniture or something for the kitchen, um, whether it might be, you know, a, a bread bin, a spice rack, whatever it might be, to have that to have that wording, to have that lettering on there, to make it personal. And I'm guessing, in typical Carpenter's Companion style, that this is the tip of the iceberg in terms of learning and fonts that uh, are, are here to come on the way. Um, your details are on the screen at the moment for the extra pens, the, the, the other set that I just went through with you. Um, you've got your brights here in the fine liner, and then you've got your neutrals in the brown and the grey. If you just want to get hold of those today, the item number's just here, it's 691321. You're, you're saving five pounds. It's 24.98 uh, plus delivery. And then the stamps themselves, they're available singly, $9.99 a pack, but it all comprises um, the big complete collection. And that's kind of the one that you want, really. That's the one that, where the value is, the saving, because it looks like a £5 saving. But remember, that saving is on top of, uh, it's made up of all of those uh, prices where you've already got the savings. You had the £15 saving, then the £5 saving on the different elements to this bundle, and an additional £5. And then, with the Freedom membership, it'll save you an extra Seven ninety nine or so. It's a good value saving that because you'll be saving on your delivery as well. Uh, so it makes sense to join Freedom. Oh, in fact, this is something very exciting. Before the show, we noticed that the first flexi buy payment, even without Freedom membership. Uh, is uh, is brilliant because it's the same uh, as as getting the first uh, bundle over here. Uh, but you would never get this without Freedom membership because it wouldn't make sense. Buy Freedom membership for six ninety seven and you save more than that in the long run. So definitely get Freedom. Um, it's a lovely lovely art to have. Let's let's look at some samples together. Now give me an honest answer to this. How will you feel when you're able to create a wonderful ribbon brush script font? like this on a card or a piece of home decor uh, literally on a piece of furniture as we said before how would you feel being able to create your own seemingly uh, artistically drawn professionally drawn without the use of stamps eventually um, you are the one creating the fonts and making the artwork yourself building it in to your background images uh, working from scratch starting from uh, starting from uh, page one as it were um, we are well over 10% of the stock already gone on that main big bundle so it's been extremely busy out there I'm so pleased it's been inspiring for you I'm so pleased that Fiona's demonstrations and, and Fiona's promises that you know you can do this it is doable you know Fiona sat down for literally a day or two and was able to work with uh, the DVD with Jennifer on it uh, and uh, she was able to go step by step and create um, her own brush strokes and seeing how they're built up this is a lovely one to see here look at that home sweet home um, but being able to see your own processes growing um, and being able to personalize things I mean imagine what your Maybe child's name or your grandchild's name is going to look like in in this particular brush script font. It's so. Look at this birthday card. Look at that. That could be one of the first things that you make. It's so so simple to get that creation uh, with with something. And then hello as well. Keep it simple. Yeah. There's no need to to feel like it's too complicated to begin with. Six six seven three zero three to get the complete collection. That's where it is. Oh, really important. I'm so sorry. I forgot this. We mentioned it before, but they're waterproof as well. So uh, in terms of thinking, okay, water-based, oil-based solvent, whatever. So waterproof and colour fast. So if you are using these for permanent results, then uh, they will do it for you. Um, Pigment-based as well. So have a look at the website. It's hochanda.com uh, to see the different elements to our big bundle. You've got the DVD there for $14.99 separately. Um, the stamps that are in the complete collection for $9.99. Um, you can see your savings on the bundles uh, there. And you've also got the freedom price saving and the flexi buy uh, uh, option on your main complete collection. We have that website live right now. Thank you so much for tuning in yes. and watching. And also, we have a caller on the oh, phone line, Fiona. Oh, how fabulous.
fabulous. We do Who's indeed. on the line? So, hello to Elizabeth. Thank you so much for joining us, Elizabeth. Hello, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Hello, hello. Oh, well, tea caller. I this just think I've had a telephone caller for a yeah. long time. Um, Elizabeth, it's great to hear from you. Thank you so much for taking the trouble to phone in. Um, now, did you purchase the wonderful art line, a complete uh, the, the, the collection at launch? Is that correct? Yes, that oh. was a yes, Elizabeth. I think I've just lost that, the, just slightly muffled, but I believe it was a yes. So, Elizabeth, how have you been getting on with it? Um. It's actually my, my daughter has been using it more than me. Um, sure. She was nine when I got it, and she's, wow. she's really come on leaps and bounds. She loves it. Um, that, that's brilliant. That's yeah. amazing because they, they, uh, the, the children at school to the, these days don't do a lot of handwriting per se, mm. do they? Mm. It's all computers oh, and things. Oh, it's a lot of computer work yeah. and um, yeah. graphics and things. Um, but uh, all her friends, she's got all her friends um, into it as well because That's they were really impressed with what she could do. Yeah. Brilliant. And what a wonderful way of bringing the children together yeah. and getting them to just interact and make friends. I think that's so lovely. That, yeah. That's great. And how, how did she find it? How long did it take her to, yeah. to get the hang of it? Because once you've got that knack of just moving your whole arm, it, it does seem to, you, you can pick it up really quickly, I found. Um, I would say within a couple of hours. She, Fantastic. She had it. She had it nailed, really. Quicker than you. <laughs> Brilliant. <feel. laughs> yeah, she clearly had it had it much more quickly yeah. nailed than I did. But I think that's some of it. Sometimes you fight against your natural instinct for a little while until you go, oh right, if I do what they show me to do, it'll work. Yeah, but it took me a bit longer. <laughs> um, I think, like you say, if you're one of the older, yeah, the more ingrained it is in. Yeah. To, to move your wrist. Break it. Definitely, yeah. definitely. But once you get the hang of it, it really is quite rem and so rewarding. Have you enjoyed being able to do it, Elizabeth? I have. Like I say, I, I struggled a bit more, well, a lot more. <laughs> right. Um, Elizabeth, what's, um, your, what's your daughter's name? I have name? enjoyed it. Um, we use it quite a lot, but... Brilliant. She obviously uses it a lot more than me. Fantastic. Um, she's more into paper craft and, and card craft than I am. I'm more into soft craft. But, ah. Um, she's she's thoroughly enjoyed it, and it was well worth the money and so easy Good. to pick up. Brilliant. Um, Elizabeth, what's your daughter's name, please? Kimberly. Ah, oh, Kimberly. Kimberly. So, so has Kimberly actually made some projects then for friends, family, relatives? Uh, she's constantly making things. <laughs> I do it, I do it. Well, if, if you get a chance, and if Kimberly is willing, I'd love to see some if you want to pop yeah. some on my Facebook page. Yeah. If you look for um, Fiona Clayton Crafter's Companion, I would love to be able to see some of the wonderful things that she's created. Yeah. But obviously, ask her first. She's probably still at school at the moment, isn't she? Yeah, yeah. Half, half term's coming up fairly yeah. soon, though, isn't it? Yeah, we know what you'll be doing there. Yeah, <laughs> um, in April. Ah, yeah. not, not so long um, Elizabeth, what would you say to somebody who's thinking about getting theirs, or, or maybe they've just ordered theirs and they're excited about getting it? Um, it you know, if, if, you're, if you're sitting on the fence because you think, oh no, it's too difficult, it's really not. Just, just get it good. and have yeah. a go. It's so easy. Yeah, that's lovely to hear that, Elizabeth. And just to turn through Fiona's books here as well, could you could you see the change? You know, just by turning through from the first page, Elizabeth, is this similar to your story from where you start with the brush strokes uh, here, the ascending um, or the ascender? Is that what you did? Did you have a good practice and did it build from there? Yeah, we started with the we watched the DVD. Yeah. Um, we we didn't attempt anything. We just sat and watched the DVD because you get you get so enthralled watching it that you don't actually do anything. You're just too busy watching. Um, but then once we did that, then we stamped a few things and we, we practiced a bit, and then we, it just kind of took off from there. Brilliant. That's excellent. Elizabeth, thank you so much for taking the trouble and the time to call us today. It's lovely to chat to you and uh, please do send our very best to Kimberley as well and, and thank you for, for contacting us. Yeah. Brilliant. Lovely to okay. speak to you. Thank right. you. Have a lovely rest of your day. Bye bye now. Thanks. Bye. 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 Oh, that's oh, brilliant. Fiona, isn't it? To hear that. Yeah. Brilliant. Yes. Sorry. I was doodling. But <laughs> this is the thing that what you will find is you will pick this up. You'll pick it up when you're watching TV. You'll pick it up when you're chatting. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. So, I've gone on to the letters now. Do you remember we did, just before, when Matt was here with me before, we did these shapes. So you've got your ovals and your loops, your entrance or ascending strokes, your descending strokes and linking strokes. Yeah. And I said, now, all of those you use in letters. So what I've done is I have stamped out on my sheet, this is the capital A. 
this is a capital A. And if you start to then look at this, so you've got a bit of a loop to get you started there. And then in you go, there's your ascending stroke, your descending stroke, which is heavier, loosening off again, then up, there's an ascending stroke, descending stroke down, heavier, and there is your linking stroke. Beautiful. And it really is that simple. So again, you can stamp out the letters like this and then just follow them around. But look, go all the way down, there we go. And now I could stop there because that's the end of a stroke, then go in and pick it up and do my ascending stroke and my descending stroke. So you don't have to nice. do this all in one go. Mm. This, is a th this is a thing. So here I've taken some of the lowercase alphabet and can you see I have just stamped it out to make the word hello. So again, once you get the hang of this, it's really easy. So here's, here's me coming in, a bit loopy, just to get me started. There's my ascending stroke and descending stroke the down. Pressure. Yeah? But then I've gone back and done my down. Right. So you don't, it's not like having to do, you know, if we were writing hello... So you're not stressed thinking, OK, I've got to get the whole thing yeah, built. You're, not you're breaking it down into two stages. Do one, and then again, so there's your ascending stroke, transition, thick stroke, lighten off and up, and then take a break. So move your hand off, move it along, and then again, here we go. So you're going up and down, and there we go. Mm. And again, for your O's, do you remember with the O's, like we did before, you start at three o'clock, you're going to go round, go up, bury that in the end, and there is the linking stroke. Really Stunning. simple, really yeah. simple and easy to do. Yeah. And once you start doing that, you can start creating letters and alphabets. And you can see, this is where I think something like the, the vellum comes in really handy. So I stamped out my alphabet, which meant I could then write that as many times as I wanted. So here we go. So you go up. It's nice and easy to write on, nice and smooth. And you can go down, transition down, and back up again, which is nice and easy. So your lowercase a, you go up, down, go up, and then hi hard on your down strokes, more pressure, and there. So it's nice and easy to do, and you yeah. can start creating your own words mm. when you do this. Like, it's I fabulous. I can't tell you how powerful it is to see it done live as well, Fiona, to see this reassurance of you doing it live with us. And, uh, of course, that principle vellum, very, very useful indeed, <sighs> approaching half the stock gone on that, and details on the left-hand side of the screen to get it. 45 sheets worth. Um, and that's worth its weight in gold, because it it's really cutting down on your, on your stamping time. Yeah. It really is, but we can, we, can stamp, we can stamp something out if you want. Okay. Or I'll tell you what... Here we go. Here's a really pretty background. Okay. And Which we've got a lot of at home, so this is a good thing to be able to get those. Do you know, this could this could be a really lovely piece of that paper that um, Barbara, oh, Barbara yeah, Gray Barbara brings us. Yeah, In fact, yeah. I've got my pad here with me. Oh, yeah, but let's go good. to this happy birthday stamp. Let me just prize that away. You can tell it's one I use quite a bit. So here we go. We're going to stick the happy just here and I'm just going to make sure I've got that round the right way because that is the one stamp cool. that every now and again I decide lives up the yes, other way and the then you look at it wine. and you go yeah, mm, yeah no yeah. but let's stamp straight onto here because I could do this in a dark ink I could do this um, in a dark ink and just use it like an ordinary stamp or I could do it in a lighter ink nice. which is just going to give me the lettering to follow. Now, Jennifer will suggest to you on the DVD that you might not want to go straight in and stamp on your project I and try you, yeah. and then copy over the top of it. I have done this once or twice before. Yeah. So, but what you might want to do is stamp it out and then practice it off your finished yeah. article and then do it, or you know, be prepared to use a lot of butterflies. To cover, <laughs> to cover any bits. But there, you can see I've got happy birthday kind of there. 
So if I then go for a, let's go for this dark Always blue. Always a good choice on the blue, on the aqua background. Let's yeah. hope this one is going to show up. Oh, actually, do you know what? I'm going to go for the black just because I think okay. that way it may show up even more. Yeah, nice so silhouette. again, you've got this lovely flourish to come in. So you start, there we go. And as I transition down, I put more pressure on. And I stop there and take my hand off. Uh, have a breather. Have a breather. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to go up and come down and transition out. Gorgeous. So there's your H. There's a bit of a wobble there, but that's fine. I can play with that later. Then you're going to do your A center stroke. So that's your entrance or A center stroke. Then with my A, I'm going to come round, go down, and you can start to play with the size of your lettering as well. So there we go. And again, you can then stop. So you don't have to do all of this. Don't feel you have to do it all and you have to do it all quickly because you don't. You can take your time. As you practice, it will become second nature and you'll start freestyling all over the place. But the sense of achievement that you get when you suddenly go, wow, yeah, I can do this, is just amazing. So there's the happy. It's got to feel good being able to do that. I was just looking at that on the, on the screen. Isn't it lovely? Yeah. And then we're going to do the B. So we've got that nice big flourish down heavily. Beautiful. Take your hand off, move your whole hand, and then we're going to do the B. And then you could stop there, do the I. Now I could stop there, give my hand a shake, and then go back in and do this R. So with the R, you've got this loop. So you've got your A sender. And then there we go. So there's the R. It's one of those fancy R's. Mm. You know the kind of R's that you see other people write and you go, oh, that's clever. Yeah. How have they done that? That's yeah. fancy. So there is the T. Now I'm going to start my H here. So there's the beginning of my H. So I'm going to go up and down, which crossed the T for me at the same time. Mm -hmm. There's the H, and then there's my A sender stroke again. And then again, with the D, I'm going to do my loop that you've been practicing. There we go, there's the loop there. And then I can go and put the circle in for the D. Yes. So you don't have to do the letters the same way as you would do them if you were handwriting. If I were handwriting the D, that wouldn't necessarily be the way that I would do that. But then, there we go. So attractive. So you've got the happy birthday that you could um, yeah, practice off it. Up. Or, well, in fact, I was just going to stick. Oh, do it, yeah, yeah. yeah if, yeah. if I popped a few butterflies just on the side there, you know, in something as something, simple as yeah. that, you've got a really simple little card that you could play with and if you want to personalize yeah. it you can then start adding yeah. people's names yes of course that's the whole point here personalizing dates yes. names places personal sentiments as well being able to do that brush script i mean what's been hot in the last year it's brush, brush script lettering. and that, that that ribbon lettering has been amazing so to be able to do it courtesy of the dvd is, is such a freedom to have and such a skill to have fiona thank you and um, the stamps are available by themselves i mean we all know how useful are any font that stamps that is used it, is good so a very very good value to get these these are lowercase at 9.99 the funny shaped ones at the bottom of there you see the more solid um, outlines those are your base uh, shapes uh, to to build up your lettering with so those are the skills that you're going to be learning there uh, the building blocks five nine six four nine uh, nine four three to get those that's for the lowercase the uppercase are also available and on your uppercase, we've got here the same price on the screen. It's 250271 to order now. Um, go for it. And uh, those are all in the big bundle, the complete collection here for you. Um, and let's show, show you it as that. This is what you're getting hold of. It's huge, the opportunity that you've got here. Oh, uh, before I forget to mention, these are they, they are waterproof. Uh, and colour fast uh, as well, or, or light fast as well, um, and they are a pigment base, so they are strong, good pens in terms of colour, 
permanency of colour uh, for your projects if they are being m used for making to keep uh, on items. You get such a crisp lettering with these. The colour in the multicolours too, uh, the, the, they just pop, I mean seriously. And you've got everything to guide you as well. So you've got something here. Because it's all very well, isn't it? Promising something like the freedom to create what you want to create. A brand new skill. Um, you, you know, something that not very many other people can do. So maybe you could get commissions and do things for friends and family and you can get asked to do things um, that way and maybe make to sell. That, that, those are big promises, aren't they? But we can back those promises up by saying, you've got your DVD to learn. It's broken down step by step. You've got your stamps to stamp your images and then practice over the top. So stamp them in a light colour and then go over the top with your brighter colour or black. And the DVD has nine different techniques. So you've got things like the transition stroke on there, the entrance stroke, um, the descender stroke, 50 minutes worth of lettering, circles, loops, the ascender stroke as well. So all of that is included in in your 50 minute of expert advice it says on the DVD it's so true from Jennifer there uh, who does a lot of the presenting and, uh, and guesting on the American um, uh, uh, shows for crafters companion uh, and Jennifer's uh, Canadian and she's she's uh, featured on the UK channel here on her channel a couple of times you might have seen it last year so you've got that freedom and you've got the 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 teaching as well uh, from Jennifer on the DVD uh, to hold your hand and make it a possibility to go back to my point, there's no point in promising the earth, you know, take commissions, make to sell, do things for friends and family, learn a new skill, do something not very many other people could do. There's no point in making those promises if you can't back them up. And we can back them up today with what you're getting in the complete collection for, and I'm going to ignore the 79.92 price, and I'm going to read out the one on screen there, 71.93. Now, normally, the prices in the blue box, those are only relevant for Freedom members. So why am I only reading out the Freedom price on this? Why am I ignoring the other one? Well, because the other one's irrelevant, because nobody should be buying this complete collection without Freedom membership because it doesn't make financial sense. 697 is the cost of joining Freedom for a month, and it's up to you if you continue or not. £6.97, but you're saving more than that when you factor in your saving and the saving on the delivery. So your saving is 7.99 on the Freedom price, and you're not paying delivery. So it pays to get this with Freedom. So that's the only price we need to look at. It's the Why Not Join Freedom offer that we've got on today. 71.93 uh, to order it now, and that's delivered. We're approaching 20% of the complete collection gone, and I'm not surprised. This is only Fiona's first show today, and we've got our follow-up show at 4 p.m. Let me show you a few more of our examples here um, in the studio. Um, some lovely examples of what you will be doing. You will be. Um, look at this. Look at that. Thank you, brush script. It's on so many different things at the moment. The brush script is massive. So to be able to recreate it and personalise with your own sentiment, your own name, uh, your, your own dates as well. I mean, look at this tag as well. Smile through the cracks, it says um, on the tag here. I mean, to be able to create that and then to add your own highlights as well, to maybe use your gel pen to add highlights to the lettering. There's a lovely one for Day of the Dead. Let me look and see if I can find it. It was, it was a sort of reddish colour. Yeah, here it is. Uh, here we go. Dia de los Muertes. Ah, uh, look at that for Day of the Dead. And the lettering has got the same technique of just adding that highlight and that shine to it. So it really does work with your foiling technique um, over here. That's the Day of the Dead uh, for uh, Sheena's uh, collection of stamps, of which I'm a proud owner of those, actually. I love them. Um, so, yeah, let's have a look at some more of these, um, too, before we zip back and see Fiona. We can see her just, she's just uh, loading up one of her rocker blocks and getting ready for our next demonstration at the moment. So, yeah, there's Home Sweet Home. Mix and match with your colours. It's a great example to show that. Um, and then here, that highlighting technique uh, as well. Take time to enjoy the little things. Um, and then uh, to add in your, your, your script with other text that you've maybe freehanded um, as well. You can do that. And I think that card shows that really, really well. How many of these background papers have we got at home? <laughs> Come on. Go on, be honest. You know, uh, have you been working with your powdered inks, your brushos maybe? Uh, maybe creating backgrounds using your Spectrum Aquas on the watercolour card, the sparkle pens? as well. Well, what a brilliant way of going in with a silhouette lettering on the top of a nice background paper that you've made at home, um, using maybe the uh, shaving foam technique as well. You know, you've got your way now.
of personalizing all of those and recreating lots and lots of toppers. Oh, well, here's a question. What would you like to write? What would be the sentiment or name that you would like to write uh, straight away when you get hold of these at home? Would it be quite a long phrase? Would it be somebody's nickname, maybe? Would it be a house name, perhaps, uh, for a piece of artwork at the, the front door? You open the front door and in the porch or the, the, the hallway downstairs, maybe you've got the name of your house, the name of your road, uh, maybe the name of your town as well. De definitely, if you're making to sell, I think that'd be brilliant to be able to take like a backdrop photo. I mean, watch copyright and things, but take a photograph of, of, of your town, uh, maybe and distress it, paint over it, recreate it. It, but then do your brush script um, at the bottom or over the top of it to um, perhaps uh, personalise something that way. Or the name of lots of different monuments maybe, you know, imagine for London you've got London Eye or uh, Big Ben and down here you've got, you know, and you've got photos or things from uh, around in your, in your city maybe. Angel of the North, you can imagine like if you took a really cool photo of the Angel of the North and maybe distressed it to the point you couldn't tell if it was a photo or not but you could still see the outline. And then write, you know, Angel of the North. Make those. You know, people love to buy that sort of stuff. Um, so wonderful. Um, 667303 is your item number um, to order. It's 3996 today on your Flexi Buy First payment, but it's not because that's your non freedom price. Do not get this complete bundle without freedom membership because it makes financial sense to do that. Uh, it's the best way of doing it. 3597 today, 3597 next month, and it's yours. You get the whole thing. Very, very quick before we play the DVD, you get the DVD, you get the stamps, you get the fine liners with the black brush, you get all of the brushes of your brights, you get all of the fine liners of your brights, and you get your browns and your greys in your brushes and your fine liners. Everything's included here for you, plus these letter stamps as well for your uppercase and lowercase. Um, we're going to show you the DVD now because it's 50 minutes worth of footage. There is a lot on there to get your teeth into. On the first page you'll see the different things like the strokes, the transition stroke, the ascender, the entrance stroke, descender, all of that. Um, that's the first menu and it's got nine different techniques to choose from. There were five on the first page, four on the second page with these circles, loops, lettering and freestyle and then when you click on something like lettering it will then uh, take you straight into the video. So learn your letters uh, it says there in the script that you'll be learning how to do that uh, lovely brush script from. There's the wonderful Jennifer uh, who does much of the guesting uh, and presenting on the uh, American shows for Crafters Companion and she's in her craft room there uh, introducing you to the actual lettering section. A step-by-step -step guide, 50 minutes worth of goodness. I have craft room envy. My craft room doesn't look like that. Just no. to reassure you, no. that that is one heck of a craft room. <laughs> look, it, can I ask you, I don't know if you'll get this on the overhead, but if you come in, this is this was day one. This was me day one sitting there trying to figure it on. And can you see, these were my, my initial down descender strokes, and you can see how wonky they are, look. Yeah, and all going off at a wonk. But can you see, just hear it, it actually says, when I put wrist brace on. Oh, and this yeah, is what I meant. On. Suddenly, my letters started getting oh so regular, which was when I pinged that sort of, don't move your fingers, mm. move your hand. And so this was all day one. So you can see, you do get addicted to this very, very quickly. Now, I, I am obsessive when I do something, which is why there is pages and pages and pages of this. But these basic strokes, which are what that first part of that DVD mm. is, is teaching you how to do your basic strokes. The building blocks. The yes. building blocks, yeah. because from the building blocks, you're then going to, if you get something like the letters, you can stamp them out. So you see I've stamped out the D. So this is just the background I had at home. And what I've done to keep my letters kind of level is I've just put some pencil marks in there, which will just keep me kind of on the right, on the right track with my letters. So I've put dream there. So there we are. Mm. There's the word dream that I've just stamped out. So, but what you can do is you can then start mixing it. Of course I can rub the pencil marks out either but that could be somebody's name but because these are a micro pigment ink the micro means that these are going to flow beautifully so there we go down and then again I've moved my whole wrist we're going to go up on the A sender so that's a thin one down is a heavy one finish that off I can lift up again then we're going to go round and into the R 
And of course, this is just a suggestion of an alphabet. You don't have to follow this. If you prefer a different alphabet, then by all means, you know, do, choose a different one yeah, or, or go for one that you make up, which is totally yours. This just gives you an idea of where you can take these letters. So there we are. So we're going to have dream just here. But, you know, if you mix up these fonts, which is really popular in some of those posters, especially mm. some of the posters you mean. might have seen. Yeah. So let's go for something like Dream. And then you can just do your ordinary handwriting and maybe just do... Here we go. So there we'll have a... You're using all of the black art That's liners right. Now. These are the art liners as well. So you can then just use your own handwriting to mix up the different fonts. But again you know that those downstrokes are thicker so you can use these to add your own thickness into those as well or maybe what you want to do is let's see what other size i've got there let's go for the five maybe what you want to do is to add a second line in just to make the letters look a bit a bit different so you start to mix them up and what you start to get is a really bespoke mm. card that you have made for mm. someone really simply and easily and then of course you can rub out your lines yeah. and frame it and you start playing with some of those things that we were doing before and you know the fun thing about this is it really is as simple as first doing your techniques and then doing the strokes but then when you move on what about that doing something like your sparkle brush oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So once you've got the technique, sparkle brush is a different kind of brush, so it will react slightly differently, but let's go. So you've got the skills. You've got the skills, Up so and then. Down downstroke. And then we can go away. Ah. You see? So once you know what you're doing, you can then start really oh, for you. starting to play. And then we'll go maybe you know, you will get a slightly different look, you know, it's a slightly different pigment ink, but it will still, it's a slightly different ink, slightly different medium, slightly different brush. But once you know how to do it, you could do this using your alcohol pens, you could use the, you know, the um, brush liners. Oh, yeah, that is stunning, that. And then, let's go down. Oh, I need a bit more ink in my brush there. That's Just got to keep it loaded, haven't you? Yeah. So there we go, but there we go, and then we go round. It's because I left the top off, and I left the top off because when you were chatting last time, Matt, I was yeah. playing, you as is my want. So there we go. Oh, are you writing what I think you're writing? There you are. Oh. Yay. There you go. But you see, this is a thing. Mm -hmm. As simple and easy as you can do something like that, which was what I was doing just there. And then, mm. look, there you go. You've got a sparkly mat there. Yeah, it's amazing. Sparkly so mat, easy like, to do. Like our, after, after an hour with Chloe. Yeah, <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, sparkly mat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, there's the sparkle pens, which are also available. They're a different medium. They're water-based. They and, are. Uh, yeah, all the rest of it. Uh, whereas these are waterproof for our art liners. They are. They're pigment-based as well. So if we're making artwork to keep and wanting to personalise things to really keep, uh, obviously out there in terms of being light fast and colour fast, they're going to stay put and, and look, look beautiful as well. And don't they look great? Mm. Look where you can take these when you've got something as pretty as the cogs or maybe you've made a background maybe you've used some machina stamps um, you never just find time you have to make it fabulous sentiment beautiful card easy to do I mean I love the way uh, shading can get added we'll, we'll, yes. we'll get there in a second but look at that I mean that's a drop shadow in itself as well isn't actually, it isn't, it? So, isn't yeah. it I mean doesn't that look great you can of course you can it's nice and easy to do. Anyone can do this. It's a nice message for the show, actually. It because is. Because we promise it all, but then we've also got the DVD with, with, it, with it as well for 50 Definitely. minutes worth. And there's another example as well, just to show you, you know, playing with drop energy, with adding a shadow or adding a shine um, as well to it. I love this card. Yes, because that could just be stamped. 
if you just mm. stamp that, if you use the stamps you're getting today and just stamp it onto some beautiful card and paper, you could have that. You don't yeah. even have to draw over it if you don't want to. I think based on what you've shown us uh, as well, Fiona, you, within the first day we could be recreating oh, something like this. easily. Yeah, you know, within a few hours. Learn it in the morning, do it in the afternoon. That's, uh, we like the sound of that. And how many of us have background papers similar to this, yeah. where with a nice punch of a, uh, a silhouette of a black, you know, a strong silhouetted uh, outline. It's the brush script that's been everywhere and it's going to be everywhere it for another is. couple of years, I'm sure, at least, if not more. Um, so it's a really, really popular script, this, the brush font. And Fiona will learn more at 4pm. We will we? indeed. So we'll look forward to that. Do place your order now. It's been a very, very popular set indeed, so you are amongst good company, uh, should you have placed that order already. But you can also order now or just between the shows. Either way, make sure that it's in there and on its way to you between now and 4pm, because Fiona will see you at 4pm. Bye-bye now. Um, coming up now is the one day special. We've also got Let, Leo, Let Leslie Loose in an hour's time and Happy Hour deals following that. But don't forget, 4 p.m. this afternoon, in three hours' time, Fiona is back. I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda. Hi, I'm Ali from Ali Stitchy Fingers. Um, I've been sewing most of my life. I absolutely love sewing. I've been with the Chanda now from the very beginning, really. That's when I started to go there. The Chanda family are lovely people to work with, and I'm really enjoying my time with them. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me on a chanda. Yeah, good afternoon. Thank you to Matt for the last hour. Welcome to Hachanda's lunchtime edition of what should be the One Day Special Show. Uh, you probably heard, if you were with us earlier on today, the One Day Special sold out in the, um, in the 9 o'clock show this morning. So what we've done is good news. We have, as by way of kind of compensation really, put together a One Day Special for you, or while stocks last, I beg your pardon, the while stocks last of the new Tim Holtz fantastic dies that we were talking about and featuring. They are hot off the, I was going to say hot off the press, well they are, but they're hot off the boat. They only landed yesterday. They are, our, well they were, our one day special. We've got this while stocks last for you though, literally, hopefully for the next couple of shows or until it sells out. Now, these are 
brilliant because what you're getting here, brand new dies from Tim Holtz. You've got your matting and layering dies. You've got the deckled edge and you've also got this fantastic array of Baroque frames as well. But you're also getting with it this fantastic pocket frame and all these embellishment dies that you can see there as well. So these three together, we've put together and we're bringing you a discounted price down to $29.97 for these three. But please, if you want them, call sooner rather than later. 468471 is your item number. We've done this in between shows, so this wasn't scheduled to be on as a three, uh, but we've done it. We've put it together, given you a reduced price, while stocks last by way of saying sorry that the one-day special sold out so early. Pete, come on in. Pete Hughes is here. Uh, good to see you. Boy, good to see you. What a good busy, busy you. day it's been. It's been a very busy day. Very busy couple of days. Yeah, uh, really pleased with the response. Of course, uh, much of it down to Tim yep. and his ingenuity and his, well, just, I mean, just coming up with something fresh and original every single time. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, what's this frame all about? What, what can I do with this frame? Basically, it's an idea uh, for you to put your pictures inside it. And then, of course, you've got those wonderful uh, embellishment dies, which you can decorate with the arrows and the bunting and the pennants, all that sort of thing. And this is what you've put together for us. This is your team, isn't it? Your team at home. Yeah, that's my team. Um, yeah, they're all there. They're various stages. The boys are taller than me now actually but uh, the, the little one's about seven but yeah so it's a, just a lovely way to present family memories particularly the kids growing up and different things and you've got all these little elements which come with it as well which you can use to decorate your frames and as we said earlier they're about credit card size so yeah. I guess these could fit in your wallet as well. Yeah they could do or in your yeah. purse whatever. Now if you want this photo frame diet on its own basically this set just here it is limited stock if you want it individually okay it's on the bottom of the screen it's only 10.99 if you want that on its own please call quickly for it that's not going to be around by the end of the show 417160 but as part of the wild stocks last you've got this you've got the fantastic baroque frames and you've also got the deckled edge rectangular frames for your matting and layering as well so a great bundle uh, a discounted price under 30 pounds for all three of them and this is really your opportunity to get what's left basically of the new additions from Tim Holtz that's right yeah well, well we've got I mean we're, we're running on fumes now Dave we're really but I mean yeah it's but Absolutely, I'm so I'm so pleased about that because yeah. these are some of my favourite. I love this pocket frame; such a clever concept. It's great if you're doing uh, scrapbooking, if you're doing journaling, particularly, or if you just want to present them as we can see them here on camera. You know, it's a great way of showing your family photos. Now, um, the deckled uh, dies, by the way, the rectangular ones, they have sold out on their own. The only way you can get those is in the wild stocks last, okay? And you can see that that's one of the uh, deckled rectangles there that's been matted and layered. Uh, a couple of them have been used on that particular demonstration you can see there. So, yeah, if you want the deckled, the only way you can get it is in the wild stocks last right here, right now. There's your picture frame die set. Next to it, we then got the deckled dies, and we then have the Baroque as well. Uh, and they've been very, very popular as well. Twenty nine ninety seven. you've got an extra discount give us a call for it straight away 01733602000 or you can order online on the website which is of course hachanda.com so that is our wild stocks last okay now then we come on to next to our wild stocks last what they call the sidekicks now i love these this is a quite a brand new uh, quite a new concept actually and I, I do love it they're in themes but what you're getting are collections of dies and an embossing folder to match all together and you've got the opportunity of choosing two it's a pick and mix so you can choose any two that you like for just 17 pounds and 98 pence and if i just show you what i mean by uh, the dies and the uh, embossing folders this one here is your birthday so you've got the party hats you've got the balloons you've got the word wish as well uh, the cake too but then you've got to go with that the embossing folder which complements it beautifully and the whole thing together just works very well we've actually got a picture frame here uh, which has got the images inside it so this one is your travel we've then got uh, spring springtime so there you can see the embossing in the background and then the die cuts out the shape of the chick and the butterfly and the little rabbit. Then we've got uh, summertime with the flip-flops. That's my favourite one. I love that. We're going to see that one later. Okay. Just uh, for you. Now, we haven't got the USA one. That, that we didn't bring in because obviously that's um, all about Independence Day, so we didn't think that was appropriate over here. And then we've got love the Valentines and then we've got the birthday which we touched on as well but they're, they're like telling little stories aren't they yeah uh, very very usable um, and yeah they're great for ATCs we talked about ATCs of course which are coming back um, and yeah wonderful for making little and I know a lot of people have said oh I love small cards I love simple mm, I we do. went huge years ago didn't we the yeah. huge cards and now it's all being kind of reined in and people are going for more simple more graphic kind of approaches I love them and where are we these two here, I should turn them around for you. There we go. Look, isn't that gorgeous? 
Really lovely. So you choose which tea you'd like. Let's show you how to do that. If you go to the website, by the way, you can see everything's in the show on the website, hachanda.com. But what you've got to do is select which tea you'd like. They come up as options. There we go. Look. So if you want, uh, let's do springtime. Let's click springtime. Click on that one and uh, summer as well. There we are, spring and summer. We've got those two selected. So pop those into your basket, add to your basket, check out, you'll get that discount taken off the price down from $21.98 to $17.98. There you go, you've chosen your two. And you can mix and match any two you want. You can go for four, you can go for all six of them if you want to, it's up to you. 459-984. And also, we've got the hero product that is the Big Shot Plus in the show as well. Now, um, the reason this is in the show, obviously it's a Sizzix machine, uh, but also it's a brilliant machine if you want to use the big dies as well as your thinlets. All dies can go through here, all embossing folders can go through here, and it's a great opportunity to go for this machine today because it's a £30 discount and you do actually get lots of extra bonus goodies with it as well. You get paper pads, you get a bigs die, you get your thinlet dies, you also get um, some fabric as well in there too to get you started. So if you want the Big Shot Plus today, this is the ideal day to buy it. It's £85 on FlexiBuy plus your PMP if you're not a Freedom member and then £85 in four weeks' time. We'll be using that machine throughout the show. We will indeed. We will indeed. But at the moment, we're going to be looking at not only the stacked decals, the Baroque and the picture frame. So we're going to try and squeeze all three into a single demo. Great. That is your Wild Stocks Last by way of us saying sorry that the one-day special sold out so early. Get the Wild Stocks Last while we still have stock of it. Right, what are we going to use first then, Pete? Right, well, this, this is for my son. He's actually going to be 21 in a couple of weeks, Ooh. which is frightening. But um, So we're going to make the picture frame and we're going to add it to a card. And I'm going to use my distress inks, but this time, rather than attach them to the card, I'm just going to spread them onto my mat like so right and then I'm going to take some of the other inks a bit of fossilized amber we'll pop in there so that's a kind of yellowy color some crushed olive possibly my favorite distressing color of all time okay yeah I, yeah I think so well I don't know it's got some stiff competition there but I've just got to let you know as well, the pocket, uh, the actual pocket frame that we were talking about that you could buy on its own for ten ninety nine. that's now sold out as well. So the only way you can get that is in the Wild Stocks last. Same goes, of course, for the deckled edge rectangles too. If you want the Baroques on their own, they are still available individually if you want them. Now, I'm going to spritz, but I'm not going to flood this with water. Um, some of it I'm leaving drier than other bits, and we'll hopefully see why when we start to apply the paper. Normally we'd apply these straight on the card. This time I want to do it this way. Now see how that picks up there and then you can take other bits. This is going to be my background. Right. So I'm going to leave that just to one side on top of my machine to dry off. I'm going to get some kitchen paper then we're going to do the next bit. This time I'm going to go some heavier with the darker colors. These are going to be my elements my for my baroque and my stacked Deckles. Mm -hmm. So a bit more of that in, and we'll have a good old swash of broken china down there. Why not? I, I, I love it. I love doing that. It's it's so nice, and it looks like you're you're, you're an expert, and you and you know exactly what you're doing. I haven't got a clue <laughs> how this is going to turn out. I haven't got a clue, but that's part of the fun. Yeah, that's part of the fun. And I think we need to be brave when we when we're trying um, when people are trying these these techniques. A bit of mixed media. Just, just play around with it. You know, what's the worst that could happen? Get your junk mail. Use that. Oh, absolutely. You know? If you haven't binned it already. If you haven't binned it, no, keep it, keep it. <laughs> Practice with it. So there we are. That, one, that one's a bit dark. We've got some more colors going on there. If we want to add some more, we can do that quite easily. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to dry those off with my heat tool prior to cutting. Now, um, we've got cues on our phones. We've had consistent cues on all of our fantastic One Day Special shows today. Um, please, if you want to avoid the queue, use your website, hachanda.com. That will bypass any cues that are on the phone lines at the moment. The Wild Stocks Last. That's the only way that you can get the decal dies. It's the only way that you can now get the photo frame die as well. All at that discounted price of £29.97. And remember, the lovely thing is, it's nice in the crafting world to be one of the first to get something that's new. These are literally hot off the press. You're getting the chance to own these before anybody else, as far as we're aware. So if you want to go for them now, order them on the website, order them on the phones. So we're just drying that off. Uh, we'll use that. Just to mop up the biggest bits, we'll use that there. Our kitchen roll, so that's ready to roll. So much more interesting than just using plain card or 
or some of the pattern card that you can buy, which is fantastic, but when you do it yourself, it's, it's more personal, it's more bespoke. You can get exactly what you want that way. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to take my photo frame. Are you, um, going to, are you going to embarrass your 21-year-old son now by showing baby photos? Do you know what? Uh, there's no uni today. Uh, yes, I am going to embarrass him, obviously. Uh, that, that's what parents might. do. That's our job. <laughs> um, but there's no uni today, so he's probably still in bed, so he, he won't be watching. But um, I know, I remember happy days, happy you, days. You can play it back to him when you get home later on Rewind. Yes, I, th I think we will. Well, actually, we're having some, some of the family around, so maybe we'll record the show and play it. Okay. You'll love that. You will. Oh, yeah. Not. So I said, I always <laughs> said for my daughter when she's 21, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make up a film of all the fairground rides that we've filmed her on with, with our camera phones. Just because there must be hours and hours yep. and hours of that footage. So that'll be a thrill a minute, won't it? Yeah. So there we are. Well, like you say, it's the uh, mum and dad's prerogative to be able to embarrass them when they reach my birthdays. Yeah. Because yeah. they do it for you, I'm sure. Yeah, I think I'm going to put. Um, when, when she's 21, I'm going to put a bit of a boy band together. Okay. Um, you know, and Will you bust be out it? some of my old dance moves. I had naturally, yeah. I'll be the least singer. Yeah. And that doesn't mean I've got a good voice. No. It just means. A bit, dad dad dancing. Dancing. A bit of dad dancing. A lot of dad dancing. Yeah. A lot of dad dancing. So there we are. There's some of my little die cut elements which we have, which come with this set. Um, yeah, and if you're looking at them thinking, well, what, what are they for? Well, it's not really what they're for, it's what they can help you to achieve because it's all about expressing yourself. You've got arrows, you've got little stars, um, little embellishments that you can decorate the frame with. It's just making it more interesting rather than just seeing a photograph in an album. You know, this is putting it into a little holder. Like you say, it's kind of um, ATC size, so you could easily pop it in a purse. If you wanted to carry it with you or a wallet, it would probably fit in as well. There we go. Now, we'll pop these on here. The paper's slightly warped, so I'm trying to get them to hold down there. Now, that's ready to go. So this is my, my decal edge rectangle and also the Baroque yep. element, one of the five. And as we say, the, these do stack as well. And the chances so, are you've probably got, if you've been crafting for a while, you've probably got rectangular matting and layering dies. But this is a bit different because it gives you that kind of um, distressed edge to it. So it makes things look a little bit more antique -y like. Um, like parchment or something like that. Now this, this is going to be fun because what we're going to do now with this, I don't want the whole of this. I want a strip. So I'm going to take the larger one and I'm actually going to put it back on there because that's all I need. Oh. So you can make strips with this. You can use one die to cut into another. Right. You can use it to cut there so we get like an L shape or a smaller rectangle or a small square. Mm -hmm. So you're not just restricted to the rectangular shapes. You can actually pass these back through your machine again. Mm -hmm. um, which is what I'm about to do. And because of that decal edge, it always looks fantastic. Um, looks really really clever and Pete's doing it freestyle but if you wanted to use some low tack tape or something just to hold the die in place you can absolutely do yeah yeah it's um yeah low tech paper post-it notes whatever you've got there's some great tapes out there as well for holding these in place mm -hmm. but we like to live dangerously on here on Hachanda so yeah as I say it's going freestyle yeah. so there, there we go. go so and look at the edge that you've got to it it's lovely isn't it, it gives lots of character to it instantly that's the decal edge. Lovely. It's really cool. So what I'm going to do, let, let's, let's bring in my, my ink pads. I'm going to add some more blue to, to this one. Just bring it around the side, just to bring that edge up. There. So this is my broken china. And with this one, I'm going to reach across and get crushed olive for this one. So we've got some nice contrast when we put these two down together. I'm also going to bring in... Um, a slightly darker one as well, just to give that an edge. Because it's great for adding contrast to the edges. When you're trying to balance all these separate elements, it's quite hard to get them to stand out, especially when we're using lots of stamps and everything. Mm. So just by applying it to the edges, and I'm holding it at this angle, I'm not, I'm not going down on it as, as one normally would when applying distress inks. That's a good sound. A bit more. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but when you put this over the blue, this lovely vintage photo, that's when you start to get your kind of real what distress inks were originally intended. It's to giving be it character. Used. It's giving it um, a more aged appearance, and the it's, edge helps to achieve that as well. That it sure edge. does. Now we're going to bring this in again. This is this is our photo frame which we've used a few times. 
and we're going to photo it. So that can come down there. I'm actually, I, to be honest, I have no idea how this is going to turn out because I'm kind of making this up. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it's true. It's true. true. Yeah, I know. I know. We well, had to because we sold out of so many. We different sold things. out of everything, and uh, Pete which actually great. had about 26 demos planned for the one I day did. special. We I spent did. days and days planning yep. all these demos, and of course now we've sold out of most of it. So, oh, which is which is a nice problem to have, I think. Oh yeah, it really is. So let's get some more detail coming in there from this stamp as well. But you know what though, the way it works is if you hadn't planned all those 26 uh, demos, we'd still have stock of it. And yes. Mm. Yes indeed. No, no, it's, uh, it's I, always, I always like to be prepared. I always like to have more than, than I intend to use. But uh, there we are. Now that's our photo frame. That's absolutely gorgeous. It's and scored it as well. It's, it's scored good. it as well. So, so we can just fold that around. Uh, th this is going to form a little wallet or a little pocket into which we can place place our photo. Um, so there we are. We'll come down there, and I'm going to use my um, vintage photo again, mm -hmm. just to edge these down. And it does help, as I say, with the contrast. When you're putting these small fiddly elements together, you want them to stand out against the background, and that's what we're doing now. So we'll take the little arrows as well. Um, but it also makes the photograph um, more of a gift. Exactly, doesn't exactly. it? I mean, if you're thinking of, if you took a photograph of someone that you find particularly amusing or really cute, maybe someone's pet or something like that, to put it in a, a frame like that makes it more of an actual gift idea. And, and we talk about, we use the word bespoke quite often, and that's why we do what we do. That's why we don't go into a shop and buy a car. That's why we like to make them and give them. It's made with love. It's the thought behind it, isn't it? Abs absolutely. Yeah. And there's nothing like receiving something that is handmade. I, I know my wife and I, when, when we were married, we were given one of those frames, uh, the embroidered frames, you know, with the date. And, mm -hmm. and that's one of our cherished uh, possessions that, that is still, still on the wall now. Mm. And because somebody has spent time... Nothing can replace that. No, absolutely not. Somebody spent time and effort and energy and love putting that together. And that's what we want to convey when we make, when we make these projects. Something personal, Miss Boak. Mm -hmm. Now, a bit more there on the edge. Perfect. Now, I'm going to take a rotary stamp. Um, and I'm going to add some little phrases to this. So mm -hmm. this one says, smiles. Pop that on there, and I'm going to spin it round to here. It's just to really, it's not so much about, well, these are all lovely little phrases on this, actually, but it's just to give it, it's just to give it that edge. Mm -hmm. That's something special, again, that we talked about. Uh, how, old was your, yes. how old was your son there? He is, goodness knows, about five, six, perhaps? So that was 16 years ago. That is a long, <laughs> long time ago. Another lifetime ago. You've got to, got to name and shame him. Yep. Luke William Evans. Da -da -da. <laughs> so, we'll pop that in there. Thus. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually put this all together using staples rather than, rather than glue or tape. I'm going to take this little tab and attach it there. And I'm going to use my tiny attacher. The staples are... Um, also very decorative as well, like well, they got like kind of industrial decorative look yeah, to them. Yeah, when you when you're using these kind of techniques, they they they, they work absolutely perfectly. Um, I'm going to take these little dies as well, just to add a bit more detail. Let's get my broken china in there, and maybe fossilized amber. Actually, I'm going to mix broken china mm -hmm. and a bit of fossilized amber there. And place that one down there. So, so the two together have formed a green. We've got a slightly different tone going on there. Mm -hmm. um, a bit more vintage photo. And I, I love what um, what Pete's done here. Actually, I can see that same photograph is just here, blown up a little bit. But to you know, maybe do a, a, a photograph through the years. Maybe you've got photographs um, of your children or grandchildren through each one of their 16 years or 21 years, however old they are, and then you can have them on like a washing line in a frame. That'd be lovely to, to present to somebody. Or so my eyes lit up when I found that frame like that, and, and it was quite relatively inexpensive as well. But I thought, oh my. Goodness, I know just what I'm going to do with that. Yeah, brilliant. Really lovely. Yeah. And then finally, we're just going to add this 
Well, not finally. Actually, we've got a couple of things to do yet. But I'm going to add this little star, because he is a little star, bless him. Oh, he's going to hate me for saying that. He really is. Uh, and then we get the two arrows. We'll put those together like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and they don't necessarily have to mean anything. They're there decoratively. Yeah. Um, it just adds more interest to it, doesn't it? It sure does. Now, one last thing to go before we put those down. Let's clear away this thing. I've got, I've got a card which I've folded in half. I could just attach those to the card. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my one of my decal edge does it because it will cut through two layers of standard card yeah um, most most of the simple straightforward dies do if you're working with like a mixed media die which is very very detailed you're only going to cut through one layer but with a card like this and can you see I'm going to put it over the edge like mm -hmm. that so it's going to give me a card blank with a decal edge and again we can use tape to keep that in place but we're Wing it. Crafting without a net. <laughs> so we'll run that through. That's gone through my two layers. Mm -hmm. And there we have it. So there's, there's your, your deckled card, card blank. There we go, look. How cool is that? Isn't that great? Excellent. It's another way to use it. You can do the same with a Baroque as well. If you, if you want it folding out like that, you can make a little... Baroque shaped card now. Where was my antique linen? There it is. Where would I be without it? So I reach down, get my ink pad just just around the edges, just to pick that up slightly. And by the way, just um, while we're talking Tim Holtz, of course, which was the one day special that sold out, uh, we have got a huge array of Tim Holtz distress inks and distress oxide inks on the website. So if there's any that you need, there are a couple of brand new colours to the distress oxides as well, uh, which you'll find on the website if you have a little look. So let's get that back. See how putting that edge on it, when it goes against against this, this paper, it, it just helps it stand out. Um, and we'll take some of our double-sided tape, mm -hmm. finger lift tape. And this is why I did explain yesterday, people are thinking, why are my nails a bit too long? I keep them long for these shows. I always cut them about three weeks before a show, just so I know I've got enough nail to get the backing. That's planning. On. That to is think that far planning. ahead about oh, your nails. I know. <laughs> People think I make this up as I go along, and to be truthful, I largely do, but not my nails. No <laughs> way. Right. Yeah, we are. We'll get that decal edge, ooh, say about there, I think. Maybe coming at a slight angle. And then finally, we'll take some of our pads, and attach this. So he may be getting this for his 21st birthday. I do hope he's still in bed and not watching. Would he appreciate a picture sort of... of him 16 years ago? Oh, I think he's got a fairly good sense of humour. Good. Like his dad. There we are. But if he is embarrassed, all the better. <laughs> and there we have it. That's featuring all the elements. That's the decal edge dies. That's the Baroque and a lovely photo frame. All together. Brilliant. Well, well the details place. on the screen at the moment are for our Wild Stocks last because our one-day special did sell out. Twenty-nine ninety-seven gives you the uh, Baroque layering dies. I'll show them to you individually in a second. The deckled edge rectangles and also that fantastic pocket frame die set as well. Here's an overview, though, of what you can do and how creative you can be when we're talking Tim Holtz. <laughs>
So bearing in mind the One Day Special did sell out in the 9 a.m. show this morning, very early doors for the One Day Special. What we've been able to do since that show ended and this one began, we've been able to put together uh, what we call Wild Stocks Last. So it is something that we've been, uh, we weren't originally going to do this, but we've been able to put these three die sets together for you at a specially reduced price, under £30, 468471, but it's the Wild Stocks Last. It is our way of saying, sorry, the One Day Special didn't last as long as we wanted it to, but you can get another bargain here. Now, the only way that you can get the deckled edge dies or indeed the fantastic pocket frame dies is in the wild stocks last they have sold out individually you can still get individual stock if you want on the website of the baroque frames for matting and layering if i just turn them around so you can see exactly how many you get there evenly spaced so you can make wonderful frames you can do fantastic um pointed cards like coming to a like a pyramid style you can do inverted cards going into the card as well using those dies whole uh, portrait or landscape they work beautifully well either way there's your deckled edges so they are basically decorative edged rectangles again for your matting and layering landscape or portrait but the favorite thing everyone seems to love this is the pocket frame um, just a standard picture into one of those in your purse in your wallet or possibly just on a little easel on the desk we've got these tiny wooden easels on the website if you want to find some of those um, these as well these are just wonderful aren't they they're, they're quirky they're fun you can maybe put them onto sticks and maybe put them into cupcakes if it's maybe a birthday celebration or something like that that would be really cool uh, but yeah, you can use them in all sorts of ways. So it's a decorative frame and you get all those decorative embellishments, the, the arrows, uh, the pennants, that sort of thing. If I just turn it round so you can see the, uh, the die set, all the, the little quirky extra bits, the love hearts, the stars, the banner, the bunting, the pennants, all of those dies are included so you can decorate your fantastic frame. So that's the Wild Stocks Last, okay? Now if you have a little look around, we've got some, these easels here, as I said before, I think it's, um, it's uh, Craft Buddy that do the easels. So if you like the look of these little um, wooden easels, perfect to put your decorative photo frames on. Check the website for those, you'll find them there, I'm sure. But they're really lovely. Um, images of you, your other half, family, pets, whatever you want to do with them, you, you've got the dies there to cut out as many as you choose. Four 468471. It is the Wild Stocks Last. Uh, £3 better off in your bank account or in your pocket. 2997 is the price and it's 468471. And remember, these are brand new. Tim Holtz Design, they only landed in the country yesterday. We had them as the one day special last night and these are basically what are remaining of the collection and they're the Wild Stocks Last. So grab them quickly. Now, if you do want the Baroque dies on their own, those frames, there they are. They're £10.99 for all five of those. 247313 is your item number. And they're actually um, quite unusual for Tim Holtz. They're quite a, uh, quite a traditional style of die for him. And we've also, of course, got our sidekicks as well. Now, this is the pick and mix. Uh, we're only just showing you a couple of the options here. But it's a combination of embossing, um, embossing folders and mini dies, which will create wonderful images that tell a story. I love the, the one with the flip-flops on it and the word play, the sunshine. That's the travel one. The one next to it is the spring. That's the most popular, the travel one, I believe. Uh, spring is next to it, which is also quite a popular one at the moment. If you will fancy those two, you'll only pay $17.98 for all those dies and the two embossing folders as well. 459984. Now, um, we don't spend that much time on our main machine, so it's really lovely that we've actually got a bit of time to talk about the Sizzix Big yes, Shop indeed, Plus, yeah. isn't it? Yes. Because this is one of the unsung heroes, really, of the show. Oh, very much so. I mean, we couldn't do anything but do without the quality machine. Um, and this is obviously... It's, it, do you know, it took us a long time to bring an A4 machine to market. There were a lot coming out. But we wanted to get it right. I mean, we jealously guard the Big Shot name, so when we brought it to market, we wanted a machine that we knew was going to do the job. Of course, it works with all your uh, Sizzix dies, past, present, and future, with the exception of the huge ones, which is a pro machine. But, um, you know, it will also work with the vast majority of other manufacturers' yeah. dies as well. Um, there are lots of machines out there that will cope with the thin-lit dies, like we have today. Mm -hmm. um, but there aren't that many that will actually allow you to use the Biggs dies, but this will. So if you're using Biggs dies for quilting or for your mixed media, going through chipboard, that sort of thing, or leather, anything like that, then this machine is perfect for your thin dies and your Biggs dies and all embossing folders as well. So from that point of view, you're kind of future-proofing yourself and you're getting all these plates included as well. And I think it's one of the easiest systems to use, actually. Well, I, I think so. Of course, I'm a little bit biased on it, but one of the great things about it is the instructions are there pictorially um, for you always as 
as a reference. Yeah. You don't need to go back to an instruction manual. It's fairly self-evident. And one of the beauties of this machine is there's not many working parts. It's very simple, and it does exactly what you expect from it. So it, you, you can get this straight out of the box and pretty much start going with any. You don't need any expert knowledge, or you don't need to watch a video of how it works. You know, and I can take these to a workshop anywhere in the world, or anywhere in Europe, rather, and I can show people how to use it and just leave them to get on with yeah. it. And all the instructions, like Pete said, are printed on the platform and also on the boards as well. So the sandwiches that you need for different dyes is all self-explained and printed on there. You haven't got an instruction manual that you can lose or anything like that. Now, what you get is not just the machine and the plates. You actually get a bumper bundle. I have a little look at this picture because it shows you what you're getting. We've got it at a £30 discount to start off with, which is great. So it's down to £169.99, but you get all of these extra extra bonus goodies. That is a big sty there on the left, or it was. That one there, that's the big sty. So that's got flowers, it's got hearts on it as well. That will cut through multiple layers of fabric or things like chipboard, balsa, all that sort of thing. It's brilliant. Then you're also getting your handmade papers, a pad full of papers. As well as that, you're then getting fabric. You're getting these thinlet dies to get you started as well. Uh, there's some fabric in there too, all the plates that you need. So it's a real bumper bundle there for you, worth every penny of that £200 price tag but it's £169.99 and it is on two interest-free flexi buys of £85. You pay that today, no PMP if you're a Freedom member, remember, and then £85 in four weeks' time. And it's already got a five-star review there as well. Um, so if you'd like to review it when you get yours home, we'd be very grateful. Wonderful mm -hmm. item, uh, will make my quilting so much quicker and more accurate. So if you want to buy a machine that you can quite simply buy anything for, any of the dies that are on the market, then that perhaps is the one to consider going for. I think so, especially with, with this bundle, whether, whether, whether it's your first machine or you already have a machine. Um, the dies, I've just been doing a quick calculation actually, looking at those dies and the pages and everything. And I think you're looking at RRP around £60 if you were going to buy those individual Good so goodies. If you take that away from the 169 that's Just a pretty good, that's a, yeah, mm. that's, a, that's a bargain, that's, that's really good, so, yeah, great machine. Now, we've had a question, uh, someone called through into the call centre asking about the plate combinations uh, when you're using thinlet dies, so right, that's okay. what we've been doing, isn't well, it? Well, with so. the thinlets, you use, you use the A plate, which is the top one, and you use your main platform, which is the thick one. When you're using embossing, you can use your, you can either use your B plate or the bottom, of the or just the platform by itself but the, the thing is when you get it it'll all be self-evident because those instructions are actually there pictorially it will show you how to make up the sandwich it will show you how which order to put them in as well mm -hmm. so so there's absolutely nothing to nothing to worry about and I know there's a lot of confusion with all the different machines and the different combinations of plates sometimes it's color-coded sometimes it's letters numbers but it's very very simple to get to grips with so physics makes worry it about easy that. We sure do. Excellent. Okay, so there we are. If you fancy treating yourself today, maybe a bit of an Easter treat for yourself. Uh, Eighty-five pounds plus the PMP, unless you're a Freedom member, and you don't have to worry about the postage. Right. So, any more questions? Please do feel free to email in. That's what we're here for. Studio at hachanda com is the email address. Right, Pete. We're going to do something with the psychics, aren't we? We are going to do one of the psychics. We're going to do the summer one, which is our favourite. Yep. The little flip flops. Yep. Cute. So this is what we're getting. We're getting this uh, little set now. It's not just the dies, it's how clever it is and how well they've been put together. Everything is done for you. All the elements are on the separate dies, so you're not going to have little odd little dies all over the place. Everything is together. So, great little set, but not just that. We do get our little embossing folder as well. Which just happens to be the sea or the waves, doesn't it? It does indeed. Mm -hmm. And we're going to use one of our decal edge um, dies as well. So. Where am I? What am I doing, Dave? Where am I? Oh, I know what I'm doing. That's what was missing. This is going to be my background. And then we're going to put the C in with the embossing. And then we're going to add a die cut elements. Also, this is the boys. This is Damon and Luke on the beach in Cornwall about a million years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and we're going to cut that one at the same time. So, uh, let's take... Like <laughs> that, was a, that was a lovely holiday. That was, we really enjoyed that one. So... I'm just going to take the, the platforms out. Now you can see here, 
uh, on the instructions you can see exactly how to layer these up. It's very, very, very straightforward. So you can you can have the dies face down or mm -hmm. face up. Uh, a complex die, I'd usually have the die face up. It does cut better. I don't know why. Okay. I don't know why, but it does. Now, I'm, I think an engineer at our place once told me why, and I've since forgotten. Uh, I'm, I'm, really, not very, I'm not a very blokey bloke in that sense. I'm not, you know, I don't, I don't know how many pounds per square inch this machine applies. As long as it works, I'm that's, really not That's interested. all you care about. Like Absolutely. most of us at home, I exactly. think. Yeah, so as long as it does the job. There we are. So we'll put those through there. And then I'm going to take that out. If you have There's treated yourself to the one-day special, all the while stocks last today, why not treat yourself to a brand new machine to go with your new dies? Indeed. Makes Indeed. sense. Indeed. Now, we're going to cut, this is going to be the C at the bottom. So I'm going to cut this. I only need part of it. I don't need the whole thing. Okay. So we'll run that through. Out the other end. And I'm going to emboss this. So. This is my seat, and luckily I have a wave embossing folder. How mm -hmm. clever is that? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, skizzers. Let's take these, just trim that down slightly. Oh, by the way, we've had lots of interest in the Sizzix toolkit as well, which I know lots of you have gone for since the launch show last night. These are included in the accessory toolkit. Uh, they are genius. They're, they're, the, they're the gripping tweezers that, when you release them, hold what you're holding in place. So you don't have to squeeze them tight. You just release them. So great for when you're doing your heating, bossing, all that sort of thing. So they're included in there. Uh, and the toolkits on the screen, actually, you've got your ball shaping tools for making petals. You've got the tweezers. Um, you've got the different mats molding mats as well, um, all for twenty three thirty nine. So if you fancy getting that, that's on a freedom discounted price as well. Yeah, well and I've just taken my A plate out. We were talking about the different the different uh, layers of the platform. Yeah. So I've embossed on the bottom layer and that's that's all you really need to do. And you know what? If you get it wrong and you start to roll the embossing fold with you'll know immediately the machine feels too tight. Mm -hmm. So you'll just roll it back. It won't damage either the folder or the machine. Um, if sometimes you might, you might do the wafer thin dies where the platform's too low, this simply won't cut. Right. So, so you know, you won't harm your dies or your embossing folders. And there we are. That's that little, that's the waves embossed there. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. Yep. Really, really nice. This is wanting me to go away now. This is me thinking holidays with palm trees and flip-flops. Have, have you got anything planned for this year? Or? Um, yeah, a few things. Yeah, a few good, little good, trips. Good. Our best friends live in Malta now, so we oh, wonderful. kind of have long weekends over there quite often, oh, which is nice. Oh, super. Where are you off to this year? Well, do you know what? It's funny. I was talking to my wife just before I came away because it's my turn this year to actually find out, to look, and because she she's great. She does what she does all the the searches and everything and finds everything. And I just I just have to turn up and carry the cases. Really. <laughs> but but this year she says, right, you're doing it this year. So that's that's the next thing. I I honestly don't know. It's. It's, it's, it's as long as I, I think we'll probably take our daughter. I don't know if Luke, he's 21 now. I don't think he will want to see Do you like see beach holidays? Us, the which? Beach holidays? Mm, not particularly, because neither of us... You, we don't like the sun. <laughs> and it sounds you awful, don't like the sun? We're not, well, we like the sun. I, lo I love a sunny day. It's a gorgeous day here today. But it's quite crisp, and I like that. Mm. But I like it when it's sunny, but I don't like being in the sun, if right. you know what I mean. I don't... if. Um, I don't really have the skin tone for a, for a beach holiday, mm. to say the least. I'm practically transparent. So, there we are. We'll apply. Now, there's the C. That's going at the bottom there. And I'm going to attach that with a lovely staple. So, that's the base on which I'm going to attach my photograph. Well, congratulations if you've gone for a machine today as well. Lots of you are deciding that this is the machine for you. Again, it's something that we often just kind of um, talk about in passing, but to have it as a main focus on the show today is quite nice, actually, and refreshing to find out more about it. And it is the machine that will do the Biggs dies and the Thinlet dies as well. No matter what brand you've got of dies, doesn't matter, it'll work, as will the embossing folders. Well, I'm very lucky, actually, that it's back in stock, because it has been... We, we had a real run on this machine at Christmas. Um, I know our our Italian market has gone absolutely crazy for this this machine in particular, because they do a lot with felt and textiles oh, okay. yep. over there. So they want a machine that's going to cope with that, and this this is 
just that. Well, if you've got lots of different crafts um, to cater for, maybe you're into your soft crafts as well as your card making, maybe you love your quilting, applique, all that, then again, the Big Shot Plus is the machine for you because it'll cope with all those quilting dies, won't it? The big, the big quilting yeah. dies. But, oh, and we talk about, about future-proofing. I mean, mm. you may not... You know, some of us started off uh, doing applique and sort of drifted into paper crafts or indeed the other way around. So whatever, whatever your, chosen, uh, your, your chosen craft, this is a machine that will be there with you on the journey. Mm. So it, it's, it's uh, you know, it takes pretty much anything. So yeah, a, a lot of people, I mean, I speak to so many people that say, well, I started off doing this and then I ended up doing that and then I went to a class and they were doing the other. So. The last thing you want to do is buy a machine and find out it doesn't suit your purposes three, no, four years down exactly. the line. Yeah. So that's what you get with Sizzix. I am pleased to say. So here's our sunshine. Now you see, I did, I added this, this palm tree as well. Now this was all die cut individually. This was the die. And then I cut the separate elements out of the different colors mm -hmm. and I put it all together like so and now i've just done the same with the sun and we're going to cut the word play as well and Excellent. that is our die cutting done i think so i'll pop that back in there die on the card slip it through the machine mm -hmm. yeah. and this machine i mean it's such a durable uh, and one of the things that one of the things that we do talk about when we talk about the Big Shot machine is durability. Yeah. Um, you know, and that's something that is a reputation, again, as I said, that we guard very, very jealously. Um, it does what it says on the tin. A lot of people say, oh, I've still got my original Big Shot and this, that and the other. And some people say, well, I've got three. I've got the, I've got the black and pink one. I've got mm -hmm. the blue one. I've got <laughs> the... Um, but there you have it, there's the word play, isn't that lovely and clean the yep. way that it cuts? Oh, lovely font. And stick some vintage photo just on the edges. And I'll be honest with you, um, the number of people I know that own Sizzix machines that have had them for years and years and years. You know, it's not a machine that you buy and then have to replace a year later or whatever because you've worn it out. You know, they do, they are incredibly strong and durable and last a long time. Yeah, I'm sure, do you know what, I'm sure... Oh, I'm not, no, I'm not going to say I'm sure. I could drag this home behind the car and the plastic casing might be gone, but the middle's still going to be there. It's going to be going. It's not going to look very pretty, but, you know, maybe this is a bit of a bulb. <laughs> I'm not going to try that. I'm not going to try that. But, uh, there you go. But if our social media coordinator, Charlie, heard me say that, he would actually film me testing it, dragging it behind the car. So yep. I just hope he's not watching. We can do that in between shows, maybe. We, we can, we can. Wouldn't that be interesting? Mm -hmm. Now, this is my sunshine, my only sunshine. I don't know if you want to finish singing there. You make me happy when skies are yeah, yeah. grey. Yeah. Right. Now, a little bit of vintage photo just on the edge of that. I'm going to add a tiny bit of glue. Now we'll, we'll go through all the side kicks because that's what they're called, these uh, selections of dies and the embossing folders. I'll go through all the options for you in a minute and show you how to do the pick and mix. Yep. They, were th they were designed originally to go with the little sidekick machine. I don't know if, if you remember that. Do you remember that tiny? It was the very first roller machine, and it came out in about 2002. Okay. A tiny little machine with a suction pad on the bottom. Um, oh, yes, I do remember, it's actually. Yeah. hugely, hugely popular back in the day. So there we are. There's the sunshine. Now, only one thing to go, Dave. I, I know that you know what this is. This is your favourite little element. The flip flops. That flip to me, flops. that to me is summer. I live in them. You do? Yep. Well, I start. I start. I when I'm at home, I, I take my my shorts I go in the cupboard about November, and they come out again about January. So I always I, wear shorts at home. I'm always wearing shorts at home. Yeah, indoors. Shorts and uh, shorts and flip flops, even in the winter. Indoors. That's you happy. There you go. There's the flip flops. There's everything. And if I lift this up to show you, this is how I presented it originally that great, it? in that little box. So it's a lovely way to show that up. I'm really pleased they're almost identical, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Absolutely. That's now, cool. these are the psychics. So you've got basically uh, five choices, um, and you can pick and mix them on the website, or you can get the operator to do it as well. It's easier if you go to the website to do it. You can see all the psychics that are there. It says pick two any items, or two any of those items. So we're going to go for which one do we select? We went for love and springtime, I think. So you pop them in your basket. There we are. Look, those are the two that we've selected. £17.98 pence is your discounted price. Uh, and then you just check out. And if you're a Freedom member, uh, obviously the website knows that and won't charge you postage. If you're not a Freedom member, it will charge you the PMP. So if you want to become a Freedom member to take advantage of your postage paid, uh, then it's triple eight, triple eight, only £6.97 for your Freedom membership. So these are the sidekicks. So here are the choices. Uh, ignore the one uh, with July the 4th on there, that's Independence Day, which wasn't really appropriate for us over here, so that's not in stock here. But we do have the travel at the top with the plane. Uh, that's in the lead, that's the one in the lead at the moment with the suitcases uh, and the, the globe there as well. And again, you get your embossing folder, which is the arrows on that one. Uh, the next one is springtime which has got the little rabbit and the chick and the butterfly and the word hello as well. It's got the word seek on the travel. The one that we just used, which is uh, my favourite, is the summertime one with the flip-flops and the uh, Caribbean palm tree. Very nice. Uh, skip over the USA one. Uh, we've got the birthday down the bottom. So there's the cake and the party hat and the balloon and the word wish. And then the last one is love. And you've got the dies for the chocolates and the envelope, obviously, for the, for the card. And the little love heart embossing folder. So there's, uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, yes, five to choose from. Five to choose from. You choose which two you would like. Seventeen ninety eight is all you'll be charged. Or if you want to go for four of them, if you want to go for all of them, it's entirely up to you. Four, five, nine, nine, eight, four is your item number. Then, remember, specially, because the one-day special sold out in the 9 a.m show we've been making feverish phone calls and getting all this sorted out for you this is the wild stocks last because the tim holtz one day special did sell out early but you've still got these brand new dies from designer tim um they're straight uh into the country yesterday they landed they actually uh, were shipped over they arrived yesterday uh they're going straight out to you and you've got three brand new die sets here making the wild stocks last for 29.97 it's a discounted price we've been able to do for you you've got your baroque matting and layering frames which can be portrait or landscape You've also got your deckled edge rectangles. Again, they can be portrait or landscape. And you've got that kind of distressed edge going all the way around. You can't buy those on their own. They're only available in the Wild Stocks Last. Same goes for the pocket frame. You can only buy this now in the Wild Stocks Last. It's sold out individually. And this has got, of course, the die that gives you the frame to put your picture in. Uh, and also, of course, it gives you all those other elements that you can decorate the frame with as well. Your bunting flags, your pennants, the arrows, the little star as well. All of those, and they, whether you're putting them in bigger frames, whether you're putting them on little posts, um, however you're using them. I love the idea of getting these little easels, which I know Craft Buddy do, and I'm pretty sure that they're still in stock if you look on the website. They're only about £10 for three or something like that, but they are so adorable. And you can put these little pocket frames on them beautifully, or you can mount them onto cards like that. That's the card that uh, Pete did earlier in the show. So twenty nine ninety seven is your Wild Stocks last deal. Um, we've taken another 10% uh, off the price for you, taking it down to under £30, but it is our way of saying sorry the one-day special didn't last as long as we hoped it would. It is gone, but we have the Wild Stocks last to fill its space at the moment. 468-471 if you want the Wild Stocks last. And if you want the Baroque die on its own, or the dies, all five of them, um, that is quite a, a departure for Tim, actually. It's quite an unusual design for Tim to have in his collection, but you're loving it. And it will create, obviously, um, inverted designs. You can also have it with pyramid styles. And also, it gives you perfect frames every time, too. £10.99 for all five them working out to just over a couple of pound of a frame which is amazing value two four seven three one three we've got about eight minutes on the show pete so oh, we've got enough time sure. to do a little should we do something in eight minutes all right yeah we're going to use our love set from the sidekick range okay we're going to cut a little envelope we're going to use our deckle edge die so i've got those all mm. loaded up and mm. ready to go yep we're also going to use that gorgeous little embossing folder and i'll show you a great little trick to get the best out of your embossing folders as well, particularly if you have those 3D embossing folders. So we'll cut that out. Now this this is such a clever little die. This is our envelope, and you can see here. Oh, cute! Look at that. That little shape and all those creases are actually in there. And we'll show that made up in a second. Um, then I've got my backgrounds cut using the decal dies. Mm -hmm. So this is so the love ready, selection that you're getting. That's the fella. So there are your two hearts. You get the little uh, bow, 
Um, you've got the word love, obviously, and then you have, there's the envelope, and that one is, it's got the num numbers one and four for the 14th for Valentine's Day. Really sweet, isn't it? And there's your heart embossing folder, too. Really lovely. Well, it shows you, again, how to uh, use your plates. That's actually printed on here as well. So if you are going for the Big Shot, the Big Shot Plus, and it's in the show today, it shows you plate formations there, too. Fab. Right, now we've got this uh, little decal edge rectangle here. I'm going to emboss this, but before I do, I'm going to spritz it with water. And what that does, once it soaks in, and we'll do that front and back, once it soaks in, it softens the fibres in the card. So that when you emboss, we're going to get a really, really deep, crisp emboss. And then when it dries, it dries rock solid. It's fantastic. And I wish I had another one to show you, to show the contrast between the two. It's, um, it, it's a marvellous way to get the best out of your embossing folders. Mm -hmm. And of course, when it dries, when it dries solid, as I said, then you can use pastes and inks and stuff over the top of it, and you know that it's going to hold up. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll just extricate that from there. But that is a much deeper, cleaner emboss that I would get without using the water. Right. Um, I mean, the, the results still be great, as we saw from the waves, which we did earlier. But this one, it kind of smooths everything so out it makes as well. the card more absorbent then, does it, slightly? Yeah, completely. But it helps your fibres. Sometimes with a thicker card, what can happen when you emboss is it can stretch around those edges and it can raise the edge slightly mm -hmm. so it's not as clean. But with this, because the fibres are softened, you, it gets a really cream, cream Cream, clean, deep emboss. Excellent. So I'm just going to dry that off. And actually, the deboss size is just as attractive as the emboss size. Yes, isn't it, really? very much so. Very much so. I mean, I love, I love, I used to love inking on the deboss side because it, it just. Well, we're going to ink on the emboss side this time. But one of, one of the things with that, when, you, when we emboss without it, sometimes, as I say, where it goes around the corners, it'll raise those edges. And when you apply ink, sometimes it can look a bit, well, not as attractive as one might hope. Mm -hmm. But now I know, because I've done what I've just done, I know it's going to give me a lovely, clean surface on which to ink. So I'm taking my antique linen. Which I hadn't realised how much I, how much I've used this anti linen over the years. Yeah, it's a firm favourite of yours, isn't it? It's yeah. Well, it's a gr it's a great one for softening the colours. Um, so and then vintage photo again, kissing the edge. I always say just kissing the edge. Very appropriate for Valentine's. Mm -hmm. um, and it lifts the detail, of course. So now I'm just going to run down the centre like that, and it will slightly lift the detail of those hearts and bring them to the fore. So let's just do a bit more there, just concentrating right on the edge of that now. And then we're going to do similar with this antique linen. Give this a, now. This was just um, pattern paper. The, the, it was printed on it. But look at the difference that antique linen makes. Yeah, makes all the difference. Just makes it look Fabulous. vintage. Yep. Yeah. There we are. Now, vintage photo. Again, just concentrate on the corners, on the very edge itself. And we're going to layer these up together. Now, remember my little envelope die? Mm -hmm. All the creases are there. So I'm going to fold that in like so. Very clean, very simple. And that's our envelope. But so obviously that, the idea behind that is that that's going to be a little love letter, isn't it? Indeed, indeed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, just edge that with the anti linen, which will really come to the fore when 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 we put this together. Um, Do you think people write love letters anymore, or is it love texts now? I think it's love texts. It's sad, isn't it? Oh, so it's not very romantic, though, is it? Getting a text? No, a love text. Oh, I don't know. I heart you. <laughs> yeah, those <laughs> emojis and all that. It's. It's not for me. I know I'm an old fatty daddy day, but it really <laughs> isn't. I like to take out my calligraphy pen and... Yeah. yeah. My wife will be saying, where's this calligraphy written, handmade love yeah. letter that you're talking about on her channel? Well, you've got, you've got a week. Way. You've got, got a week to I've get it done. I've got a week, yeah. Mm. Right, so I put some um, tape, some double-tided tape in the centre and we close that up. How lovely is that? How cl so clever, so clever. Now, talk about our tweezers, these, these lovely ones that, that grip 
Now I can just do my inking. I don't have to worry about. Do you know what they're brilliant for as well? If you're embossing, if you're heating up with an embossing, you know, a heat gun or something like that, you, know, you don't want to burn your fingers. That's perfect. Just use those tweezers. They're great. They're absolutely fantastic. They really are. I'm oh, the accessories that sold out, is it? Has it really? Oh my goodness! Oh, we didn't have that many of them, but they have gone. So congratulations if you got the last one of those. There we are. There's our little letter. I'm going to attach this near the top, and I'm going to use one of these. It's just a common or garden. What? Oh, do you know what? My mind's gone blank. These are paper called clips. Paper clip. Do you know what? <laughs> my brain's addled. This is what two days on a chanda does for you. Oh yeah, we have that effect on you. I don't know how you guys keep going, I really don't. So there we are, there's our letter in place. The word love, which I cut as well, I'm gonna place on here. I would, I would glue that normally, but you know what? Time's are pressing. So I have one of our lovely staples. Then I'll place that somewhere like that. This is my base card, so I'm gonna put that at a coquettish angle. Do you like that? That's what? That's coquettish. Coquettish. Yeah, coquettish. word for the day. Oh. Word for the day. What's that, wonky? Wonky, yes, wonky. That's probably what it says. If you go, if you go into uh, your, your thesaurus, it'll be have the word wonky next to it. So there uh, we are. We'll place that down again. We'll pop a set. I was going to staple the card closer. Then there uh, we are. So we'll put that there, like so. There uh, we are. Nine days. There it is done. Through the door. It's seven uh, days. Seven days. Seven, seven days. days. Today, is it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so we're today. Get that day right. <laughs> Am I working a week today? I think it might be. Mm. Do, 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 do. Seventeen ninety-eight then gets you mm -hmm. your pick a mix of our sidekicks. So you can choose any of the two of the five that are available. You only pay seventeen ninety-eight. So we're giving you a four-pound discount on that. Don't forget the wild stocks last. Um, we've only got a, a limited quantity of that available as well. That's also been bundled together at a reduced price to say sorry that the one-day special sold out so early. Uh, but if you want to go and have a little look at what we still have left, please do feel free to. Look at the website, hachanda.com. You, sir, and myself are back at five o'clock. Five o'clock, we'll be here. Uh, we'll see you then. Lots to look forward to this afternoon. So uh, we've let her loose once today. We're going to let her loose again in a minute. With Janice, it's Leslie coming up next. Then Janice has got some happy hour deals just for that hour only. Very special prices. And Spectrum Wild, the Artliners, they're back with Fiona later at five. I'm Fiona Clayton from Crafter's Companion. I've been crafting for about seven years now, having rediscovered my love of a childhood hobby. I'm delighted that I can share with you all my hints, tips and ideas. And here at Achanda, we're going to make sure that you really enjoy your crafting as well. So join me, Fiona Clayton, here on Achanda. Hi everyone, I'm Gordon. I'm Justin. And together, together we, we are, are Be Creative. Justin and I formed our company just under one year ago to bring you new and exciting products under the Be Creative brand. We have a fantastic relationship with Whole Chander and we love to share our ideas and creation with you, our viewers. So why not come Be Creative with us here, here at Whole Chander? Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp Limited. We're well known in the industry for designing and manufacturing top quality, award-winning craft products. As with all craft projects, you need a good starting place, a great stamp, a top quality stencil, and in recent times, we've developed the Groovy Parchment Art System so that your line art is perfect on parchment. Another exciting development to come from the marriage between Parchment and our stamp company is the fabulous designer papers and now the designer parchment. There is nothing like it. Each groovy plate is precision etched and by simply getting in the groove with a stylus you can easily transfer great designs onto parchment. Groovy is a modular system. The plates complement each other and work beautifully together. They are packed with elements and allow you to build your own original artwork. Whether you're a novice or a traditional parcher, you will love these plates. 
And for me personally, having beautiful line art is what motivated me to want to learn traditional parchment skills. So why not get in the groove with us here on her channel? Thanks today for the previous hour. How are you this afternoon? Yes, we're now in the afternoon. I hope you're well. Did you see the earlier show with our Leslie when we let Leslie <laughs> loose? I think a lot of you did. We had a lot of emails, Leslie. A huge amount of emails and we're still getting through them. <laughs> <laughs> and we will continue to go through your emails. We'd like to say thank you to Heather, to Jackie, to Debbie, to Val and to Kelly. You've all emailed in, and we've had so many more emails in between the shows as well. Leslie, yeah. you've got a busy hour, <laughs> and then you've got another busy hour answering and all the emails. Social media as well. Thank you so much. You've really, really enjoyed them. Yeah, it's been fantastic. And it's always a pleasure to have you here as well. If you do want to join the club and ask a question, it is studio at hochanda.com. You can also leave comments on our Facebook page as well, uh, Hochanda on Facebook. We'd love to have your company throughout the, uh, throughout the hour. And also, if you've got any projects, if you want to take pictures of them send them in Leslie's here she's your go-to lady for anything to do with your stamping and your inks she really is a genius you're going to see some fabulous demonstrations and Thank hints you. and I tips think you later on. I think you called it ink surgery didn't you Jess? yes I rather like that it is the ink surgery but this is how we can get in touch so we'd love to hear from you studio at hochanda.com you can email us in uh, if you don't want us to read out your email for any reason during the show Leslie will answer your email afterwards just make a note of that in your email but we would love to hear from you and give you a shout at. Or you could speak live to us here. You can give our call centre a call on 01733 62000 and you can come through to the studio and you can ask Leslie yourself if that's alright with you, Leslie. Yes, I just realised I was still wearing all my pass and everything. I do apologise, everybody. Oh, you? I, yes. didn't even I thought it was a project. <laughs> <laughs> it must be an ink project. Uh, right, we're going to get started. We're going to show you some of the items that we've got on the show because I know that you are loving these and Leslie's going to give you some hints and tips on each and every one. So, we've got the archival mini ink pads here. Really nice and cute, nice colours. Yes, great if you want to take these away in your crafty stash. So, if you go to club, club craft clubs, yeah. you like to take things away on holiday, you get still the same amount of pigment in them, as, and I mean pigment by colour, I'm not meaning the pigment ink pad, uh, as you would in the larger ones. And sometimes they're quite useful for getting to the corners of, of smaller yeah, stamps. Yeah, I would have thought that. That's brilliant. So, if you've got those intricate uh, stamps, yeah. these would be perfect. But as Leslie said, perfect for taking away from you as well. It's achievable. Uh, 39 uh, 13 pounds and 99 pence 496 955 that's your item number we're going to move on because we've got a bit of a duo going on here haven't yes, we yes we have yes this is the versamark which is the clear sticky ink mm -hmm. which is uh, tend to use no sorry it isn't this is the pitch black yes, i mean, one ahead of myself you are but that doesn't matter pitch black pigment ink which is brilliant and originally it was designed pigment inks for embossing okay and is this one that's um tacky no no the next one's tacky right, okay. this is the one that stays wet long enough that if yes. you want to add an embossing powder to it then you can do uh, and we've got clear embossing powder on the show that's right because that's, that's the best way to get a high gloss black oh is it uh, sometimes people stamp with a versa mark and then use a black embossing powder yes and unfortunately black embossing stamp powder is like soot Ooh. and it gets everywhere even with an anti-static pad yes so it's the reverse is better stamp black you do, clear. yeah, absolutely fantastic. You're getting both of those included. Forty percent of this went in the first cool. hour. Yes, so nine pounds and ninety-nine pence plus your PMP eight six seven nine nine three. Now next up, we've also got another duo for you, and with these, uh, we've got two different types. This is where I was talking about. Yes, stuff. so you've got your Versa Mark, which is your clear sticky ink, which is great for embossing. Also good for resist techniques, which I've got one to show you in okay. this hour. Also very good for doing watermarks, which is what it was originally intended for. So oh, you right. can do tone on tone so you yes. can stamp just with that yes. onto an absorbent card stock it has to be absorbent yes because if it's glossy it won't dry no it no, just, just remain sticky. tacky yeah yeah and perfect. the other one is the onyx black which is a versifying which is an oil-based ink pad and that is possibly my one of my empires of choice and a lot of the demonstrators and, and the people who come here why is that because it's great for fine detail yes it's an oil-based ink pad it's got a really 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 good actual base it's not a sponge ink pad itself mm. 
and it um, gets into all of the nuances and the beautifying detail of stamps. All right, yeah, fabulous. Well, sixteen pounds and ninety-nine pence, approaching a quarter of the stock already gone. Eight four three one three zero. That's your item number. Uh, easiest way to order would be the web, but of course you can give us a call as well. Uh, right, we've got these three beautiful colours that I believe you're going to be demonstrating with. Yes, yes, yes. These have been selling well, I understand. Yes, they have. And I can understand why, because these are beautiful. They are very resistant to anything once you stamp them. We saw that this morning. And if you didn't see the show this morning, you can always catch it up on Rewind. Yes, you can. Any of the demonstrations you can watch on Rewind on the web. Uh, we're approaching two-thirds. We mm. might even have our first sellout uh, with the Le Leslie Loose Hour. So this is going to be incredible. Get these into your basket. Uh, 304203. Uh, you've got Caribbean Coast, Electric Lime, which is a beautiful, beautiful, vibrant colour. And you've got the buttered popcorn as well. 16 99 They're new today. That's why we're busy for those. Mm. Right, we'll move along again. Now, these are interesting, aren't they, Leslie? These are also new today. Mm. These are the dye version of the um, pitch black that we saw earlier, which okay. was the pigment, again, by Andy Rondack. And the beauty about these is that you can brayer with these. You can actually paint with these as well on the right cardstock, but you can stamp with them too. So you actually get a three-way thing with these. But these are also one of those ones where they will only work on porous card. They will not work on the glossy because it won't dry. Right, perfect. You're getting ginger, wild plum, and cranberry. Fabulous colours. Oh, gee, I love the names. Mm. I love the names, yeah. but fabulous I've, I've, I've come to this conclusion. I think there's a little man that sits in a cupboard, <laughs> and he just makes all the names up of paints, inks, yes. lipsticks. Fabulous. And just thinks of them all. They remind me of teas. Yes, yes, yes. they do. £14.99. pence. They are new today. We are incredibly busy. 970118. We're nearing that time to let Leslie loose. You are going to love this. Please don't go anywhere. I'm going to allow Leslie to go over and get ready, but we're going to take a look at the website at some other items available to you. So these are your distress oxides, and you can pick and mix any choose. Uh, you can pick and mix any of these. Now we have got the fossilized amber and broken china there. Uh, over, that's yeah. So with the colours, spice marmalade. Wow, over one quarter of the stock to the spice marmalade has gone. You've also got walnut stain, and lucky clover, and twisted citron. You can choose any two for thirteen pounds and forty nine pence if you are a freedom member, and that includes your p and p that 's your delivered price uh, we 've also got some chocolate baroque stamps as well, incredible quality and beautiful, beautiful detail for your spring cards. These really are gorgeous thirteen pounds and ninety nine pence you 're getting eight images on this one rubber stamp and these are approaching 40% of the stock gone. 728084, that's your item number for that. We've got one of my favourite flowers, which is the lily. Beautiful, beautiful lilies. Uh, we've also got the little bug there as well and the different flowers. 70% of this stock has gone, just £13.99. Your item number for that is 938679. We've got one more to show you. And this is the hyacinth. Is this your favourite flower? Again, another beautiful flower. Um, we're approaching a third of the stock, and you get six images on that one particular rubber sheet. Lots more on the website. Please do shop ahead. But it's now time to let Leslie loose. Hello again. You'd think that they would have learned the lesson from this morning, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'm back again. <laughs> Thank you, as we've said, for all your uh, interaction with this show. Um, you know, I'm really, really pleased. One lady actually has uh, mailed in and has actually said that uh, she gave up stamping a long time ago because she could never get the right uh, results. And following this show, she's going to take up her stamps again. Brilliant. OK, talking about the dye inks that we have, two thirds of these have already gone. And I would like, before they possibly sell out, I would like to show you what you can actually do with these. Uh, and again, more or less what you can't. So I have got butter popcorn, electric lime and Caribbean coast. And I apologise now to my producer, but I've actually taken two of the stamps that I had on our show yesterday because of the technique I want to show you is uh, I needed a solid stamp uh, and a pattern stamp. And unfortunately, in the collection that I've got today, I don't have two that work. So uh, I don't know if these were landscape edges and I don't know if they sold out or if there's any left, but <laughs> anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a solid stamp and I'm going to take a pattern stamp and I'm going to use these inks in conjunction with that and show you what you can do with these inks. 
These are brilliant also if you want to stamp on other things. Um, so I will show you something else as well that you can stamp on. These are also traditionally a very, very difficult medium to stamp upon. So first I'm going to take the electric line and I've got solid rubber here. Now one of the things I need to show you a bit later on if you get a chance is you can't use or you don't get a very good effect if you use distress inks, even the oxides, on a solid piece of rubber or a solid piece of polymer stamp. And the reason for that is because of the composition of the, the dye, they actually, it doesn't stick and it actually beads so you get more of a mottled effect so you don't get a good clean stamping. So if you've been doing that with solid rubber stamps that could be a problem you've had. Also I had a lady who asked about solid dye, a solid stamp. She's never got a really, really clear and crisp image. VersaFine is a really good one for using for that, for solid. But also the stamping platforms that we've got nowadays are absolutely amazing. And if you don't get it the first time, re-ink and do it again and you'll get it the second time. But VersaFine is a really good starter because the oil basing sticks to the solidness of the actual rubber. Okay, so there's my first colour. I'm now actually going to take the um, buttered popcorn and I'm going to stamp that onto the wall here. Okay, and it's quite a bright colour. And I'm going to do two different demonstrations using what I call the kiss stamping technique. And this is the first one. So line up the stamp, take your pattern stamp, and I'm going to stamp into the base here. Okay, so... Okay. Apparently you're going to have to be quick for these. I think they're selling out. But they are beautiful. We're approaching limited stock, folks. That's 304-206. So and now I'm going to take my piece of card. And what's happened is you should see you have got the original beautiful electric line and the buttered popcorn from the wall will be in the base, like so. And what happens is because the two inks are so well blended and because of this high dye col coloration that they have in the pigment, they actually work and blend together instead of fighting each other. So they dry at the same time and you get that perfect pattern. The other thing you can do, same thing with them, is to take the same stamp and I'm going to use the same colour, but I just want to rub that other because I still have the pattern in the bottom from the actual wall. This works beautifully. I did it on uh, last year when we had our butterfly stamps, and we have some solid butterflies, and we have the same matching pattern butterflies, and you take the pattern over the solid, and it looks absolutely fantastic with these ink pads. Can I? <laughs> Gone. Well done if you've got them. They've just sold out. <laughs> All in baskets. You... It's a technical sellout, which means if you've got them still in your basket, you will need to check it out. And I believe it's if you don't check it out within seven minutes, it pops back out again. So if any pop back out in the next seven minutes, we'll let you know. I will just finish this demonstration, though. So what I want to do is now I'm going to take the same electric line and I'm going to pop it like that. Now I'm going to take the Caribbean Coast because I think that's a beautiful colour. And what I'm going to show you is that you can actually blend these on the same ink pad and you actually don't get a line. Okay, so there we go. And now I've cleaned this stamp so there's no ink on it whatsoever. And I'm going to do the same technique, but this will remove the ink that's sitting down there. So what we're going to have is we're going to have a, a graded almost ombre look and we're also going to have the pattern in the bottom. And this is, uh, this is one of the... F you can do this with a few other inks, but this one really, really takes on this well. Oh, gosh, we're very busy. Apparently we have two-minute queues. Best way to do is to go onto the website and order on the website if you can. But if you are on the phone, please bear with us. We're getting through to you as soon as we possibly can. Okay. So, this is a combination of the two colours and the kiss stamping, but the one that removes the ink. If you've got these, you're going to love them. There you go, look at that. So you've got the ombre, and because I say, because of they blend, you've got no joining, they've almost blended themselves together, and then you've got that effect at the bottom where the actual other stamp has taken and removed the ink from it. Okay, uh, one quick more thing before I go, just to let you know, this is vellum, and I hope you can see on there, I've actually stamped this lovely little stamp that I've been using all day because it does show so well. I've used the electric lime and I've stamped on vellum with the um, electric lime and this, the two together. And believe it or not, I only did it just before we went on air. And look at that. So it dries solid on vellum. 
which is very, very difficult. If you want to do coloured artwork on vellum and you don't want to actually colour it in, this is a great way of adding the colour to it. OK, we'll need to move on. So, oh, we've had a question from a lady called Bernice. Good afternoon, Bernice. Thank you for watching. OK, what's the difference between dye, archival and Adirondack? OK, Adirondack is actually the name of an ink pad, like archival is the name of an ink pad. Archival is the one which is uh, fade resistant. It's also archival safe. So if you wanted to do any stamping with photographs in a scrapbook or on a journal, then it's quite safe to do that. It, it's got a 90, supposedly a 99 year life when it means that it's uh, acid um, uh, and whatnot resistant, um, fade proof. Uh, so it does mean that you won't come to a scrapbook years later down the line and find that the actual inks have, have, have um, rotted your photographs. So the acid lignin free is very, very important. <coughs> the thing about the Adirondacks, they come in two. They are a dye based, but they're also a pigment ink. So Adirondack is the name of the actual ink itself. And then you've got the brand and then you've got the pigment and then you've got the dye. And um, was that the three, the dye? Yeah, dye ink pads come in a variety of forms. The one that's just sold out, that's a dye based one, but as I showed you, not all dye bases are the same. We have the Adirondack Barone dye, which you can actually paint with and brayer with. And then we also have the dye based inks, which are the Distress and the Distress Oxides, which is a combination of dye and pigments. It's more like a hybrid. So dye comes in different forms, and a memento is also a dye based ink. And it'll usually tell you when you look on your pad, this says here dye ink pad. This one also says dye ink pad. And then down here as well, the oxides. And these, they all turn around and they all say uh, vintage photo. We know that's a dye based one. And we also have the memento here, which also says a fast lasting dye ink. I hope that helps. Thank you for the question. Yeah, absolutely. Keep them coming. If you want to phone into the studios, please do so. Don't be shy. We don't bite here. We love to hear from you. Uh, and if you're failing that, if you have a question, you just prefer to email it in. We're more than happy to, uh, to help you with that. OK, moving on. So while we're talking about dyes, I'm going to move on to the Adirondacks. And these are new to the show today. 970118. And you have ginger, cranberry and wild plum. All of these, the, 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 there's two different, these are the ones, the old fashioned one, and then they came and rebranded them and made them with the, what I call a very tight lid. Now, if you've got an ink pad, which has got a very, very tight fitting lid, fantastic. Lids are on good quality ink pads. Most of the lids are very tight fitting. And the reason for that is because you need less air to get into them. If you have air getting into your ink pad, that's how it's gonna dry out. And please don't store them next to a radiator or anywhere where the sunshine's going to come because that's the quickest and easier way of making your ink pads dry out. Oh, and don't put them in the fridge either. Somebody wants that. Oh, I had actually, a lot of you in my ears saying, in the fridge, I have actually had, uh, years ago, a customer who said, oh, I made sure mine didn't get uh, dried out with the heat. I put them in the fridge. <laughs> yeah. Sorry that that doesn't work either. <laughs> store them flat. There's loads and loads of different types of um, ink pad um, organisers and storage nowadays. So store them flat. And when you've had them for a long time, turn them over. Because believe me, there's a well in the bottom of all of these pads underneath the felt, which lasts and lasts and lasts. But after a while, you have to press really hard to bring the ink to the surface. If you store them like that, they will remain. And I've had a lot of my ink pads four and five years and as you can imagine they get a lot of use right so i want to show you now with it and i also want to bring versamark into this as well versamark is the clear sticky ink which is the one that we can use for creating watermarks doing fade resistant techniques offer embossing the first thing i want to show you is i'm going to take a piece of glossy card i'm going to take a versamark my trusty little stamp here which there you go has done so well today and I'm going to do first a little bit of cameraman's nightmare stamping, which means that he won't be able to see a thing. OK, so now you can usually get, because it's very sticky if it's new, you can usually get a couple of stamps out of it. OK, now you might say, why do you keep your lid on, Leslie, in between? It's an old habit. 
Uh, it's quite warm in the studio and uh, if you do live in a warm atmosphere or a warm climate it can affect your ink pads if you leave the tops off the same way as it can affect uh, paints. Uh, it evaporates any of the alcohol or any of the water base that's in it. So, okay, this isn't actually the cleanest one. Now I have cleaned this little stamp but oh gosh it's done some work today. Okay, and the last one on. Now the Versamark is part of the kit with the Onyx uh, black, Jet Black, which is the Versafine, which is, as I said, my ink of choice. That's all of, also available today. And again, they last and last and last. So apparently a third of the stock's gone of that. Well done. You won't be sorry. You, th there are certain things that you have in your stash that you go back to again and again. And those two ink pads are certainly part of that. Right, I've got the brayer, which is also on the website. And I am using the wild plum because this is a real zingy colour. So uh, here we go. So take lots of little light roll. And can doing this, if you're going to brayer, brayer does not work with any other inks. It has to be a dye based ink. It does work with distress ink because that's dye based and it works with the oxides. But it won't work with an icarval for the simple reason is or if it stays on or reverse the fine because the simple reason is they're not built for that sort of job and what will happen is the ink will just go Ugh, and it won't glide across and it will dry on your brayer and i have had somebody who actually did do stays on on the brayer and it doesn't come off and although it doesn't damage the brayer it does mean that it's very difficult to see any other color after that underneath okay so here we go There you go. How's that? Nails and there we go. So that means there's my dye that's given that wonderful background. And of course the sticky ink has picked up the dye again and made it darker. So that's your that's one way. So it's it's an almost a resist in as much as that um it has resisted the the card has resisted more, but the, if that has actually coloured on there. You can do another one actually where you can do um the Versa mark and you can get the um a white uh, background uh, you know a white image it depends on again the quality of your cardstock but there how pretty is that okay the other thing we can do with the uh the one thing i do say sorry about this i know i don't want to take up valuable time but i do like to clean my brayer if i can and there's nothing wrong, you take this off later on, put it in some warm soapy water, give it a quick rinse over and it'll be fine again. Don't give these away either. Okay, right. Where are we at sorry for time, Lottie, may I ask? 34 minutes. Okay, so I think while I get prepared again, how about we ask Janice to come back in, give a little recap and then get on. Wow. Some great demonstrations, Leslie. And we've sold out of those. Yeah, we've sold out. Isn't that amazing? So you've got to be in quick to get mm -hmm. the different inks available. I'm sure you'll agree. Some wonderful hints and tips there and such a wealth of knowledge that you have, Leslie. Uh, it's a great idea if you do want to ask us questions. It's studio at, uh, at um, hochanda.com. Yes. Now, we've got some of the products, Leslie. I'm going to let you get set up for yes. the next part of Let... Leslie Luce. Uh, <laughs> Chocolate Baroque, of course, is Leslie's company. And we've got some marvellous stamps to boot as well. £16.99. pence. This is one of my favourites. I really like landscapes. And it's beautiful because you've got the trees there. You've got that gorgeous little picket fence with the uh, clouds. And you've got that beautiful tree, which is excellent. So £16.99. pence. You get 16 images on that particular one so head to the website and you'll see them all available we are very busy this hour so if you do have anything in your basket i would recommend you check out rather than miss out now we're going to take a look at these beautiful stamps available to you that you're taking advantage of in the show today with chocolate baroque we've got quality that's exactly what we've got here i'm going to lift this one up to show you now two-thirds of the hyacinth has gone already just to show you the stamp itself and the excellent quality you're getting here you can cut this up individually but you've also got a way of seeing the detail in there look at that absolutely gorgeous detail beautiful quality there and high sense of such a, a beautiful flower you 
need that detail in there so you can add the colour. You can add those embellishments. I'm going to show you some cards made with that particular stamp because they really are beautiful. From something as simple as this, I say simple, wow, a lot of work and detail has gone into that, but just using that one part of the stamp just makes it look very, very elegant. Um, here, here are some thistles. I do like a good thistle, I really do. Uh, beautiful design again, just randomly used around the edge, but looks so fantastic. If you are a fan of hyacinths, this is a fabulous idea. Look at that. And what we've done is embellish that. Well, I say I, the team, the creative team, have embellished that. It looks absolutely stunning, doesn't it? And you've got your sentiments there as well. It might be a different shape card that you want to create. Love this. Love, love, love this. Real gorgeous autumn sky with that. And I'll show you one more before I move on because there's so many different things you can do. Just £12.59. and pence. You too could be creating wonderful designs like this. An excellent price if you're a Freedom member. An excellent price if you're not. £13.99. pence. If you want to become a Freedom member, just put triple eight, triple eight into your basket. You become a Freedom member. You can end it any time. But the great thing is you've got those savings and you've got your P&P included, so it's well worth it. Now, lilies are my favourite flower. You might be able to see these on my blouse today. I like to call it a shirt, but it is a blouse. Um, I do like lilies. I really, really do. And you can use them in so many different ways. You can use them as a hello card. You can use them as a sympathy card. Uh, so many different ways to use this particular stamp. And again, you've got eight different images on there. Now, these are the busiest stamps on the show. We are approaching limited now, so if you are a fan of lilies, then now is your time to get it. Freedom members, £12.59. Let me show you this gorgeous, gorgeous card. That took my breath away when I came in and I saw Leslie. I picked this up and I went, did you do that? She went, yes. It really is amazing. That's the backgrounds in there with the stamps as well. Absolutely beautiful. I'll show you one more as well. So we're using three different elements of that stamp. Isn't that beautiful? Happy birthday. Love to get a card like that. £13.99. 938679. That's your item number for your lilies. But we are incredibly busy for that one. OK, we're moving on now. Spring is in the air. It really is. I know we've had a dusting of snow, but spring really is in the air. And this is your breath of spring. It is brilliant. Brilliant. And with this, you get your different designs, including your beautiful butterflies. And one third of the stock has gone. They're from Chocolate Baroque, which means quality, long-lasting stamps. £12.59. If you're a Freedom member, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful inspirations today from Leslie. Great demonstrations. This is our ink clinic as well. We're going to let Leslie loose in a moment's time. You are learning so much. And you're telling us that on Facebook. Chanda, and also by emailing into the studio. It's lovely, lovely to hear from you. 728084, that's your item number for your breath of spring. And then we have got another beautiful stamp. Now, let me just pick this up because this is gorgeous. Take a look at this because you've got some of the larger flowers in here, but you've also got the foliage as well. Again, we can cut these up and use them separately really is gorgeous fresh blooms and again heading towards the spring and you've got your sentiments in there as well i'll just show you this beautiful inspiration that we have here look at that you could do yes isn't that gorgeous maybe something for easter maybe just something very decorative for the home isn't that beautiful it's a special price 14 pounds and 99 pence and you can start creating wonderful inspirations like this. 012917. And we've got more. We've got another one for you just here. And let me pick this one. Similar in design, but different flowers. So you, if you really like that one, you might want to go for this one as well. Also £14.99. And, and you are saving on this. 011312 is your item number. Your sentiments are on there and your different flowers. Beautiful, beautiful detail on here. Just to give you a couple of examples uh, of different inspirations that you can create. I think that is gorgeous. I love that one. I really do. Uh, flowers are so beautiful. And you know when you get a, a, a card that has these beautiful flowers on, you're going to get that smile as well. Oh, this is a nice one. Look at this. Beautiful colours. Absolutely gorgeous. And Leslie's going to show you how you can create wonderful cards like this with all the different techniques. Because having the right inks, having the right techniques, means you will get the best results and Leslie is going to show us all of that in the next part of the show. We'll take a quick look at the web 
so you can see all the other products that we've got available on the show. We're busy throughout, so have a peruse around. We've got freedom prices on some of your items, which means your PMP is included, and you'll get that discount as well. So have a look at the web, see what you want, pop it into your basket and do check out. But in the meantime, it is that time to let Leslie loose. Thank you, Janice. Brilliant as usual. Uh, my Lottie, who is my lovely producer again this afternoon, has said we have a question. Who may I ask who from, Lottie? Dahlia, yes. Hello, Dahlia. Oh, yes, 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 yes. You pr you'd be better off actually using paint with those. Ah, sorry. The question, uh, the question is, what would you use? I'm sorry, I've done it again, haven't I? That's me sacked now or standing on the naughty step for a while. <laughs> okay, the question was from the lovely Dahlia, what ink would you use on the wooden block stamps? Like the carved ones, uh, colorishes and those type of ones. They are actually, because they're wood, they need to be paint. Paint, even just so, but paint will be better on those. For the simple reason is because they are wood, paint will resist, ink will soak in. So if you've got those kind of stamps, which are absolutely beautiful, and I do admire those shows, <coughs> excuse me, it would be paint would be the best thing for it. Okay, right, keep your questions coming, and it's great to know that you're actually watching and hopefully enjoying the show. Now, I want to talk, we've, talk, we've just finished off there with a verse mark. I want to continue the verse mark and do some embossing for you very quickly. So I have got another one of our stamps. I'm using my verse mark now to add I'm going to do it on black because I want to show you how you can get a wonderful tone on tone background with black on black without using a black ink pad but using the versa mark you can I don't know if you can see does that shine there look there you go there's the shot you can see how sticky and shiny is that is okay so now I'm going to just stamp I'll do a couple I won't do a lot now already you might be able to see on there you have got a almost like a watermark I'm going to show you better on craft card but I have got the uh, cosmic shimmer here now this is a matte oh and should have opened it up first shouldn't I gosh do you know can't take her anyway I know there's a second time to apologize okay there we go okay so here we are straight onto the card I haven't used a um, anti-static pad. Thank you, that's a lot, Lottie, reminding me in my head. <laughs> I haven't used an anti-static pad. Purely and simply, these are actually a slightly stronger grain because these are matte. They're not um, shiny. They're not a, a, a for all the clear. Uh, but I always would recommend you use an anti-static pad. And for those of you who don't know what it is, it's actually... Excuse me, I have one. I can show you on the screen. In my, in my battery bag. Um, here we go, it's one of these little things. And it's actually filled with uh, a, a, like a clay powder inside. It's not talc, it's like a clay powder. Um, almost um, like, gosh, um, full as earth type powder. Um, and it's in a little cotton bag. And every time you use it, because we get our fingers are full of lanolin and all other things as crafters do, you, without knowing it, will get thumbprints and fingerprints on all sorts of things. And it's only when you start to use inks and stamps and paints and you suddenly think, oh gosh, and especially with embossing, it will stick to those thumbprints and any other things that you have on. So if you just give it a rub over, and I don't think, you might see it better on the black. There, look. It does look like talc. Okay, but if you do that and then stamp, then just brush off with a fine brush and it means that your little grains of uh, embossing powder won't stick to the actual card. Now the good thing about embossing powder, as you might have noticed, I've carried on talking, I haven't heated this, and if you start to emboss, the phone rings, somebody comes to the door, you can safely leave that and it, nothing will happen to it unless the dog runs off with it or the cat decides to play with it. It will stay like that until you come back with one of these, your heat gun. And your heat gun is what actually sets the powder and will change it. And I always call it alchemy because I, I don't think after all these years have I ever, ever got sad, tired of seeing this sun. Um, heat guns. There are so many different types of heat guns. 
Uh, I have got this particular one, which is more like the hairdryer type, uh, which is quiet. And that the person, that's the reason I've got it, is because it's very quiet for the television. It's also very quiet uh, if you want to be, you know, if you're talking to um, people on workshops. And if you craft late at night, this is brilliant because you don't wake up everybody with a one that sounds like a jet engine. However, there are other ones which are very fast, quicker, faster. They aren't any hotter, but they do blow a, a faster speed. So the blue ones um, that you can see, which a lot of our demonstrators use, do actually dry very quickly and they do emboss very quickly. But the thing about that is if you're just a bit unsure and you're a bit of a novice, it could actually blow the ink off, uh, the powder off rather, and you may get a granulated effect, which is why you can do it from underneath. This one is slower, so therefore it doesn't give you that quick blow at your powder. Now, there we go. There's, there's you see, there's that. Okay. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, that's the way to get... And if you do it on white card, of course, you've got that wonderful almost lead. If you're doing glass painting and you know that lead effect that you get, you get that on white card and then you can start painting, use your alcohol markers, use aqua pencils, whatever you want to do. Quickly onto the craft card, I'll do the same stamp, but I won't actually do anything else with it. But what I do need to say to you is, if you're going to do this as a resist and give it a watermark effect, you need to use a porous card, because if you do it on a glossy, it won't dry. Even if you try and heat set it, because it's oil bait, it won't set. And we have a question from Barbara. Good afternoon, Barbara. Right. How do I get the rubber stamps to stick to the block? I have cut these out. Normally I use cling mount. That's our, we have cling mount in our company and we sell it a lot. Some people don't like that. They like to have the raw stamp because they like to have it neater, cut closer. They like rocker blocks and things like that. Stick and spray. That's what I've used on this today. I, I, oh, happy hour. Watch that with Janice, the lovely Janice in the happy hour. We've got some stick and spray on offer, which if I've, here we go, look, if you want to show, that's exactly what I've used today. Okay, a first for me, because I don't use this very often, I tend to use mine. Um, so tune in, apparently, wait for it, it's going to be half price. So that's well worth getting. Okay, so I'm just going to carry on quickly, I won't do any more than that, but as you can see, there's a nice watermark effect, and on craft card, it can be, if you want to do a lot of vintage effects too, and aged effects, this looks wonderful. The other thing that you can do with the Versamark is, is you can actually go around the edges, like so. And if I'm just going to literally, excuse me, because I need what I need under here. Okay. It was, it's on, I know. I told you, you can't get the standard to demonstrate these days. All I've done is gone around the edge. I've got some gold embossing powder here. So don't forget, your ink pads aren't just for stamping, they're for painting. You can do lovely edge techniques with them and, and embossing powder. Uh, you've all seen most of us will have taken an ink pad just to give the edges a little bit of a touch afterwards, so you've defined the edge. Uh, you can use it with a blending tool, a blending sponge, brushes. There's a whole host, and that's another, that's a whole other story. Okay. So just do with this. If you're using a heat gun, make sure your heat gun's warmed up first. Don't take a cold heat gun because you will blow the powder off and it will take longer for the actual uh, powder to change. So here we go. This, I just think, adds a lovely touch to the edge of your card. And it's a great way to finish off a piece. So how's that? And all you do is you just that make a nice finish okay so we've done resist with the reverse mark we have embossed with it and we have done a watermark technique and then we've added some edging I have lovely lady called Sue has uh, an email in studio about what to use with alcohol pens well do you know what funnily enough that is actually the next place that I'm going to so a very very good timing there we have I've Illustrator pens on the show today, which are Craft and Companion. I think we've got eight sets on the show, haven't we? <coughs> yes, so there's six colours and there's eight boxes of colour. Okay. Uh, I can't, sorry. 
I can't, basics, we haven't got basics, apparently they've sold out, but we do have uh, all the other colours, I think there's hues and tones and um, tints, portraits and essentials, a neutral, there we go. And if you think I sound really clever, it's because I've got one of these in my ear. <laughs> I'm not going to take credit for looking so good. Right, so I have actually got two here, which uh, I have got the tones and the tints. So the tones are in this hand, tints are in this hand. And I'm going to start first on normal, um, normal card that I've been using this morning. And I'm going to use my trusty faithful little friend over here. Make sure I don't have anything else on. And I'm going to use my memento for this, although you could use the, um, the, the pitch black, which we've got on the show. Uh, but I'm going to use my memento. I do find that uh, on um, a chalky base card, the memento is better uh, because it sinks in a bit and it won't budge. So let's do... Okay. Done sterling work this stamp today. I'm really proud of it. Oh, that's too heavy, Leslie. Have you see what happens when you're too heavy handed? See, we don't always get it right ourselves. Okay, let's do it again. Much better. Okay, and I'll take another piece of card, which will be a glossy card. Okay, and I'm going to use the memento again, believe it or not, on the glossy card but I will heat set it, because I want to show you the difference. Okay, I'll do it once like that, and I'll do it again, down here, and I'll explain why in a minute. So, play, this is my card, and I'm going to take, uh, this is pink lace, and I have old lavender as well. <coughs> nice chunky pens, they don't roll off the desk. They have two different ends, so you've got a brush end and you've got a fine end. Okay, so you can do lots of blending techniques. I'm going to use the fine end and I'm going to hope that that's dry. You remember my normal blotting technique? Yeah, that's dry. <coughs> now then, one of the tips I would like to just give you about colouring in as well with inks the best thing to do is to actually work towards yourself rather than away if you have trouble with that and the reason for doing that is you're less liable to go out the lines if you're coloring down over it's much easier to it's much easier to go out the lines because you forget to stop if you can't start from that and go up it you're working towards the middle so you've less chance of unless you like to go over the lines okay and here we go now then that's the memento I'm not going to do a lot of them because obviously you can, I don't want to see me colouring in. That's not the idea of this afternoon. But there is the memento on the card. And you can see, very pretty, still lots of nice fine detail, no bleeding. If I was to turn round and to take, say for example, let's do the VersaFine, which as we know stamps this image beautifully because we've done it this morning. <coughs> Let's do the VersaFine. Lots of light tapping. Okay. That was just my rubbish stamping. Nothing wrong with the actual ink. Okay. So there's the VersaFine. Okay. It's dry. <coughs> Uh, the lily stamp, which is what this day is in, in part of the lily stamp, uh, it's now limited. So uh, you need to uh, check out quickly if you want to buy that one. So I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to do some colouring and then I'm going to actually let you see what's actually happened. There we go. It's hard to pick up, but it, it, it is actually, for the with the naked eye, you can see it. On the camera, it may not. What's happened is, it's brighter on the one above, and this, the detail lines, have started to bleed. <coughs> and if you leave them long enough, you'll actually see them feathering, especially around the edges of the actual image itself. And this is what happens when you use... The other one to, that people like to use is a stays on. 
Stazon will do the same. You've got two solvents together because Stazon is basically a solvent ink. That's why it dries so quickly because it evaporates. The alcohol in it evaporates, the ink sets, and it's done. An alcohol pill is filled with, guess what? Alcohol. Alcohol in the pen, alcohol solvent in your ink pad. The two together are actually going to cancel each other out. So this is a good thing. Don't mix your alcohol, don't mix your drinks. So if you don't, the, the best thing to use is to use either the uh, pigment, uh, Adirondack, da, um, pigment Adirondack or the memento. I'm going to show you now <coughs> the memento on here. And I'm going to do one with the pen and then I'm going to do something else afterwards. So this is on glossy card. This, we do like to do glossy card because it does give us a nice finish. It's something quite um, exciting about it. It looks very professional if you do a glossy card. However, again, back to the inks. I've got the same pen and I've got Memento again on the glossy. And if I do that, it's squeaking and I'm afraid it's, it's, um, it's been allowed to dry. So the Memento does not budge. I didn't expect it to dry so quickly because what happens is, I've got one I did earlier. You see this here? All the smudgy, smudgy stuff. This one here. There we go. Can you see all the ink is smudged down here because it didn't dry? You've got all the smudges at the top here as well. So you have to make sure that's dry. Heat set it, it's very warm in this studio. So if you heat set it first, then you can actually use Memento on glossy card and you will get a lovely, lovely finish. Yeah. <coughs> Somebody has rung in and asked about my uh, dryer, my heat gun. Uh, this one is a heated craft tool. These are actually uh, still allow around now, but I think they're a different colour. Um, the reason being, there was a, lo a very long time ago, when I was a lot less grey than I am now, there was a um, big argument between America and the States as to about the voltage on these. Okay, because obviously we have a different voltage system in here than they do in the continent that they do in the US. And uh, these, they did do English ones that were designed for the English market because we're 240 volts and I think they're 110 over in America. Um, and then the argument got silly in America. England decided they would ban them because they couldn't be sure that they would work properly. So they came up with a different version of the heated gun, which I think you can still find, but it's very, very difficult. I have had mine, this heat gun, to show you how good this is, and it'll probably blow up tonight after I've said it. I've had mine for about 12 years. It was that good. It wasn't cheap, but it was good. Value of buying quality. <laughs> So, there we go. So, on, on, on um, cardstock. Now, on Sheena's very, very lovely stamping card, which is one of these here. Oh, there you go. It's gone from limited dots to sold out. Is that a technical sellout or is that a sellout? Technical sellout. So, once again, if it's in your baskets, please check it out or you'll lose it. Okay, this is Sheena's stamping card. I'm going to go back and I'm going to use my same little happy little stamp and I'm going to use my memento again. Oh, over eager Leslie. If you have any more questions, I think we've got about 10 minutes left. So, so a lady called Heather, thank you Heather very much for contacting us, wants to know the best way to clean the stamps. I did actually have a lady who contacted me at the office a couple of weeks ago who was panic stricken because she'd used the stays on ink pad on her stamp and couldn't clean it off and was worried she'd ru ruin the image. You don't ruin the image, it's just your stamps don't look pretty, but if you're making them work horses they don't need to look pretty. I always just use a baby wipe. There are cleaners on the market. There are stamp cleaners for stays on. There are stamp cleaners for water inks, for dye based inks. There are oil based ones to take off the oil based inks. I personally just prefer a, a baby wipe and, and that. If you like them totally pristine, then you need to buy the stays on cleaner for the, the ones that are permanent. So that's archival and stays on and um, the um, dye, the very heavy dye based ink, the ranges that sold out earlier on. If you don't mind, then again, just a quick wipe. As you know, you know how much I've put this little stamp through this afternoon and it's still stamping as good as anything. So if you're using clear stamps, that's a totally different matter. Never use stays on on clear stamps because stays on will actually eat away at clear stamps. 
and you can't get it off. Archival's good and Versafine is very good for clear stamps because it's oil based so it's help oiling the poly polymer all the time. Dye based good as well but dye based inks don't work on solid polymer the same as they don't work on solid rubber because you get that beading effect. So I hope that helps. Thank you for asking. So this is the actual, this is Memento on the stamping card and I'm just going very quickly here with the brush. And you know I've said that stamping card is really, really good because you can float inks on it and things on the surface. What you'll also find is I've used the brush pen because I wanted to flood the colour and I have gone outside the lines, but I wanted to show you that that hasn't moved that whatsoever. There's no feathering, there's no bleeding. Okay, so I hope that's answered all the people who were wanting to know this afternoon about using alcohol markers and what inks you use. Quick recap, Memento or the pigment uh, pitch black, the Andirondack which we've got on the show are the best. Okay, so, right, one more final thing. Right, what I wanted to actually go to now is acetate. And acetate is one of those things that is phenomenally known for being dreadful to actually ink and stamp with. I have our clear polyester here that we sold out yesterday. Okay, while we're on about clear, clear products and plastics, Winnie, thank you very much and hope you're enjoying the show, has asked about shrink plastic. There's another new animal and that's one of those things that you take your life in your hands when you actually do it on the TV because it has a nasty habit of doing the things it really shouldn't. If you're going to colour the image, to stamp the image first you need a, 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 a hard fast one so I would suggest an archival um, because if you're going to be a stays on and you're going to colour the image and you're going to colour the image with alcohol markers, which you can, uh, the stays on and the alcohol will wipe each other out. Um, so go for an, al an, uh, an archival and go basically, preferably for a dye based ink that you can colour with. But you can also use um, markers, uh, you could also use uh, paint, uh, um, water based markers, which will work too. Shrink plastic again, always I always say when you get a new thing to play with, allow yourself two pieces that you're just going to run off with and play and if it doesn't work, it goes in the bin, you don't mind. So, and shrink plastic is one of them. If I'm brave enough, at one point, I may do it in the future. <laughs> right, what I want to show you is very quickly, I'm going back to this stamp, okay, which is my lovely one from, I think this is Lily's sold out, however. Okay, so I'm using Versafine to start with. Okay, so the Versafine, which is in with the Versamark. Now then, several things with done with acetate. One is a, a, a very... Uh, less shaky hand. Two is not a, an over juicy ink pad. If you have an over juicy ink pad it will slide and you'll feel the image go like that and that's how you get all this, this double imaging. Okay so there is that on there. There's only one problem with that. I've used an oil base on a non porous surface. What I could do with that because this is heat proof I could then emboss that with clear embossing powder and that would be fine. But if I don't emboss it and I just leave it, I'll try and make it dry. That's what happens. Okay, so Versamark, sorry, Versafine is not what you use on acetate. You don't also use distress inks, you don't use um, a um, dye based ink that can, like the Adirondack dyes we've got on the show, for a simple reason again, they won't dry. You can emboss with them, but the best thing to use would be first your stays on or secondly your archival ink and allow it to plenty of time to dry. It will dry, it will just take longer. So here's the stays on, lots of light tapping. Now this is one of the ones that will stain your ink pad, but as I've said to you before, baby wipes, wipe over and that's fine. So let me turn this over. I'll just move that as well. Okay. Now, one other quick tip I would like to say. I think that's just slipped, by the way. And if it has, I do apologise. You'll all think you've had too much to drink and think you've seen double vision. If you have problems stamping 
on acetate or if you have problems as I said before stamping with um, a solid ink pad solid stamp yeah I have a look I just slipped that completely because I overdid it see that's what happens this is when the stamp platforms come into their own because you can stamp it and you can ink it and stamp again and you will get not do away with the shakes and there's less chance of you making a mess there we go that's how it should be done so there you go and that will dry very very quickly and it'll be able to use straight away and if you wanted to you could then put some color behind that uh, you can use glitter glues with it all sorts of things which you can create with the acetate and I think the time is getting to that now where it's a case of not a lot of time left in the show. Janice, would you like to join us again or join me? <laughs> Leslie, I'm fascinated. I know people are at home watching you. I was just behind the cameras there and Dee, the floor manager and myself, we were just going, wow, we can't, just can't take it all in. There's so much to learn and so many different techniques. And the thing is, there's two more ink pads on there I haven't showed you, which is the um, cloud, cl Cosmic Shimmer. Mm. Uh, uh, blending, colour blending, yes. and also the, the colour cloud, and also the chalk cloud, which I haven't had a chance to get back to. And while I'm on, when I just say thank you very much to Creative Expressions, who have supplied me with all the ink pads and on here today, and also Crafters Companion for allowing me to show their products too. Oh, we're just going to have to get you back, aren't we, Leslie? <laughs> uh, everyone has enjoyed watching you. You've got some really good, excellent um, tips. Uh, to use those different inks and it's been fascinating to watch it really really has so thank you ever so much thank, thank you for the two hours thank you Hachanda for letting me do it yes and That's let's hope you can come back again you're absolutely <laughs> brilliant it was great to work with you as well yeah you too yeah fantastic we um Leslie we'll be going through your emails after the hour sorry but you're going to be very busy uh answering <laughs> all your questions let's take a look at some of the other products on the show these are the popular items on the show this is from Chocolate Baroque Leslie's company absolutely beautiful designs there they're so delicate we're approaching half the stock if you're a freedom member that's just 12 pounds 59 pence 728084 we've also got the hyacinths also proving very very popular very popular flower 13 pounds and 99 pence we're approaching two-thirds of the stock on that 523220 and then we have got oh yes your versa mark and your versa fine two fabulous products to work with and this is just £16.99 that's for both of them okay so you're getting both of those and we're approaching 40% of the stock of that 843130 is the item number for that we've also been incredibly busy for the archival inks unless he was just mentioning those uh, in her demonstration we're approaching a third of those gone and what's great about those is that you can take them with you they're very very portable because they're tiny but you get a lot of ink in there £13.99 four nine six nine five five Leslie we're gonna see you soon uh, yes I'm back again oh, I can't remember now probably hopefully, next month hopefully very First soon Tuesday for oh, chocolate okay. baroque <laughs> fabulous you can watch the shows on rewind on the hochanda.com website I would recommend that because there's so much information you can go back to the earlier show and you can watch this show again and again and again and again so you can get all of that information Leslie I want to thank you again it's been an absolute joy it's been joy for me too thank you Excellent. You do, keep going you're doing oh, fantastic bless you bless you and don't go anywhere because we've got some happy hour deals coming up next on hochanda where you'll be saving more than half price don't thank go anywhere you viewers. bye Oh, what a joy to work with Leslie. She's absolutely fantastic. Right, happy hour deals next. We've got Spectrum Noir Art Liner and we've got happy hour deals a little later on. Don't go.